Hey Arizona, just because weed is legal now doesn't mean your criminal record is clear. You need azexpunge.org today. The Reclaim Your Future campaign can expunge your record for free. Go to azexpunge.org now.
Hey Arizona, just because weed is legal now doesn't mean your criminal record is clear. You need to visit azexpunge.org today. The Reclaim Your Future campaign can expunge your record for free. Go to azexpunge.org now. Disclaimer, this video, like all videos featured on this channel, is definitely intended for mature audiences. This video is likely to contain profane language, content is inappropriate for minors. This video is not for kids. Welcome to the Dr. Green Jump Show. Not an Thank you. 
What it do? It is the Dr. Great Thumb Show live on Twitch, Discord, YouTube, and home site www.bereal.tv. Hello. Um, we are blessed in having the rolling champ with us today. What's up, oh, rolling yo. campeon? Hello, hello. Happy Ooh. Tuesday, everybody. Pedro. You know. Aton got to watch over his dog, so. You got to watch over his dog. He couldn't sit in with us because, you know, I don't allow big dogs. No but dogs. No dogs. Uh, we got the legendary Psycho Leezy up in here. No doubt. No doubt. No doubt. Salute. Happy Tuesday. Up in the treehouse, the treehouse crew, Bolton, Blombo, Bra Bra, and the Dominator. Yo, yo, what you, what up, B? How you doing today? Bickin' it. Being Bool, always. <laughs> always. What up, Trace? Always. And it's always, it's nice to see a champ at the table today, too. Hell yeah, thank you. Word. Uh, we, yes, we have the third baseman, Trace Nunes, in the house. Oh. Working the hot corner today. Working the hot corner. How you doing? You ready? I'm ready. You ready for this? All yes, right. sir. Oh, I bet. Let's go. I'm trying to tell you. I see. I'm kind of in awe. You know, I mean, I'm sitting here staring across the table from the champ. You know what I mean? Hey, I, I want to say in awe. Yes, yes. He's a, he's a very champion style player. I want to say what's salute to Money B for coming through yesterday. You go way back with Money B, like definitely, myself. definitely. Um, he was up here dropping gems. I can only, you know, and the truth be told, the whole time I was watching the show is all I could think that he still owes me a hundred bucks. He owes you a hundred bucks. Yeah, huh? off of a football bet, like two Super Bowls ago, and he owes me a hundred bucks, and he's like dodging me on this C note. Should have hit you up about that. Sorry, man, I didn't know nothing. Maybe you could have collected that for me. I could have, you know, got a piece of it. I'll give you a piece of it. Maybe suggested. <laughs> no, money's the folks, man. That that cat, I love that guy. Yeah. That's why he he chose Monday to come instead of. Is that? Like, oh! you know what I'm gonna, uh -huh. So I'm gonna just avoid Trace ass. You Dodge know what I'm saying? Me. All right, all right. <laughs> yeah, it was a good show. I he can only imagine the stories that were being told. He also uh, brought a homie uh, known as Young Hump. He is in the role of uh, like you know Young Humpty. Right. And uh, yeah, man, cool dude. Knows knows his hip hop shit. I gotta tell you. From the conversation we was having yesterday, it was it was good. Oh yeah, so, young, young Hub, he, he's the man. Yeah. yeah, yeah. His voice is crazy. I was like, oh wow, it's like. Yeah, his voice cut through. Could really like uh, I could see why uh, Shock G gave, gave him the stamp, you know? Yeah, yeah. He's definitely uh, tapped that for sure. Oh yeah, definitely so. And, and then to be you know being coached you know by by money and stuff like that. I mean, come on, those uh, hip hop legends. Come on, come on. Yeah, man. I mean, as far back, you know, with digital underground and stuff like that, I mean, once again, I mean, it's all, it's always in conversation, but it's always has to. I mean, you know, that's where Pac came up out of that camp. You know what I mean? So, he sure did. Whatever yeah. happened to the rest of the crew? Like, uh, the few still gets down. I mean, I, there's, they still do shows here and there. You know what I mean? I don't know if it's like the original, original crew, but I think most of them yeah. are there with the obvious exception of uh, Shock G. And I think of one other member or something like that. But, but Fuse still goes out and does gigs and I that believe, kind of yeah. stuff, for sure. Yeah, especially in the town. Like, they'll pop up and do, you know, Friday nights down at, you know, Jack London Square somewhere over in Oakland, stuff like that. Yeah, for sure. Right. Yeah, they had, they had like, a, a big crew in the beginning because they were almost like a, a funk band, a hip-hop funk band, you know what I mean? Yep. Like, they had a bunch of people. I mean, look at past members. Look at all these members right here. And what's dope is they always had, you know, like, characters and stuff like that. Kind of each one of them had, you know, their own little personality and a role. It, it was pretty cool how they yeah, they were kind of ahead of their time. They were like the Parliament Funkadelic of hip-hop. My yeah. boy right there, Saphir, man. That was yeah, my... Saphir. Man, that's the cat right there. Look at all these members they had. <laughs> that's crazy. Because yeah, I, I remember they had, like, a keyboard player up there. Yeah. And, like, you know, like a yeah. yeah, they did. Yeah. yeah, they sure did. They had like a band. Yeah, they had a DJ and, and DJ Fuse, and then they had the band. You know, and then you know the other rappers that came in and out of the shit. Damn, they had a lot of members. Look at that wow. shit. The list goes on. They were really trying to do like Parliament. Oh, <laughs> I mean, that's a lot of that's a lot of members in that group, man. Legendary Oakland band. That's real. And they keep it rolling. Right now, you know, they're doing shows still. Hell yeah. I've seen, yeah, seen them. They, they, they rock. They put it down. Yeah. Um, 
It was cool hearing how you guys talked about how Digital Underground kind of like elevated hip hop shows. They did. Because, you know, nobody was really putting a lot behind concepts, but they did. You know, they brought it like a theatrical type of flavor to doing the shows. Whereas most of us, or well, this was before, this was slightly before us. Um, a lot of the guys before that time, yeah, so, some put production into it, like dressing the stage up to make it look like the album cover or like a scene within the album cover or like the, the main single. There's always that, like the way that someone dresses or an artist might dress a stage. You've seen it. Definitely. They spent a lot of money on production. Yeah. Right? These guys, you know, they did something like that, but it wasn't a lot in the production. It was more about in the performance art of it. That's where I was going with it. Like, they each had kind of like a character. You yeah. know what I mean? And, and that came, it came acro across in a, in a real theatrical way. Like, with the band, you know, they, yes. they had like... I don't want to call it like a brass section, but they had a different section that yeah. did this. And, you know, yes, it, it, everybody kind of played a part. They gave you a lot to hear, a lot to look at, a lot to intake, which was all dope because they made it like very much party atmospheric. Like, so like if you're a Parliament Funkadelic fan and you went to see one of their shows, they used to put a lot behind the visual of their show. Like it's an intergalactic party. Mm -hmm. And... George Clinton is coming down on the mothership and all this. You know what I mean? That there was concept to that. In terms of hip hop, they sort of did something similar, but what they were doing was also visual arts with performing arts by like doing little shit that other guys weren't doing. Right. I mean, you've seen their shows. They were pretty innovative. I'll in give you a for instance. I did a lot of uh, digital underground shows in the Bay Area when I was DJing for KML. So I, I did a lot of you know introducing them and things like that. Um, anytime they performed, I pretty much was running around with them. And uh, for instance, like uh, Freaks of the Industry, when that like when that song came on, I mean that was like a club anthem. And then they yeah. would bring the girls out. You know, it like the theatrics were all part of this show. You know what I mean? It's, it's an iconic song. Visuals, definitely. I mean, to this day, you put that on, and you know that's a that's a party anthem. Yeah, straight up. Uh, salute to Digital Underground and what they were doing um, was it was just different, cutting edge, and like funky. And it was fun. And I still want my hundred bucks. <laughs> he still wants his hundred dollars. <laughs> uh, we went on a ride with the salute to LA riders. We went on a ride last night with the LA riders. How many miles? 16 miles. Woo! Wow. Um, single gear. Uh, we went from here, this location here, which I cannot tell you, but from here up into Elysian Park overlooking Dodger Stadium, which is pretty much an uphill climb nice um throughout and then the hills we had to like go up were crazy pedro were you on that no no i actually wasn't this time oh well, why why Pe was that pedro would have had he ha he has to get his legs together before you take that hill oh man yeah well i, I kind of would uh, i don't know <laughs> I, I would i would have liked to go Sound like but, me uh, but you got to do a few a few easier rides before you get to that one trust because yeah. like if that's your first ride remember what your first ride was like yeah okay <laughs> even on a better bike Still does. even on a better lighter bike this would be harder yeah just for a first oh. ride yeah because i already knew what what uh what uh what dodger stadium was um was about because i've walked up to it before like for a festival mm -hmm. and so i know the hills that there's that there is over there so i could and you say you said so there's one hill and then there's more hills on top of that going to oh, yeah. overlook the stadium because to get to the stadium is already one like solid like incline so i would imagine to get to a a, a point where you see the stadium at a, another elevation yeah that's where we're at as a whole yeah we went like, all oh, wow. the way up there crazy mm. yeah. yeah that would have been a lot and and you know, everybody was like trying to see who was gonna 
be walking their bike up first. And you said Bobo had his legs, though? Bobo had his legs. He didn't walk his bike up. Not that I saw. I didn't see him walk his bike up. See, what I truly don't think that people uh, may or may not understand is that these are one-geared bikes. This isn't, Gear you bike, know, 12 yeah. speeds and 20 speeds yep. that, you know, you could, Ten you know. speed. Yeah, no, nah, man, this is like. <laughs> no, nah, you up. ain't going up that. Well, you could. I guess you could. So it's definitely gears. you're up and off the seat, like pumping, like you're up off your seat pumping at that yeah. point, right? Yeah, like most most people doing the climb up to there are using gears. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're not using the gears. We're like all leg strength up the hill. Can you make it without getting off your bike and having to walk it up? Leg, leg <laughs> gears. Without hurting yourself. you well, got to know your limitations. It's hilarious because down here at the studio I walked in today, this place is starting to look like a bike shop. I mean, oh, yeah. <laughs> did you see all the bikes out there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I got some bikes right now. This you want to go? <laughs> get your legs together. There, there got to be 10 bikes out there. No, Mark. There's not 10. You're <laughs> exaggerating. There's like five. <laughs> there's five. Yeah. There's five. Okay. <laughs> I was like, what? what's all these bikes? It used to be just one for a long time. It was Every one bike for a long time, all lonely and shit. Yeah. Now we got a bunch of a whole family. Whole Brady family bunch. of bikes. Oh, man. We have the cartoon bike, too, but that's only for a beach roll, you know, an easy ride. You know, you don't, you don't take that on the heavy. And I almost heavy. Ass. Bobo already poisoned me, sent me a DM with the Frisco version. They did a Frisco version of that, the company you guys uh -huh. do. And uh, with his 20% discount code, the whole thing. That's the 49, 49er bike, is that what you got? Yeah, it's like a red, yeah, it's a red and gold, but it's it's a Frisco edition, it's called. <laughs> it lo lo probably looks really nice. Yeah, it, it, it's pretty saucy. It's pretty yeah. saucy. You'd, to do a long, crazy, strenuous ride, you'd want one of those bikes that are like out there, 29 inch That's frame. That's what this bike. is, 29. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Travel. I mean, our size, we, I mean, yeah. You I mean, need I, a bigger frame. Yeah, I couldn't get my big ass. Yeah, there's a dude that rides with us that's about your height, maybe slightly taller. Yeah. Yeah. Jason. Yeah, Jason. Yeah. But B, you're, you know, you're pretty good size too. Come on. You know what I mean? So it's like, you, you ride a 29? Yeah. Okay. Hell yeah. yeah. That That's a, it's a good frame for, for guys our, our height. Yeah. How did, uh, how did Rojo do? Rojo did great. Yeah, this, I bet. This motherfucker. This is, like, this is, this is natural. You know? Yeah, it's like he's been holding his like reserve strength. It's crazy because he's just ro he was like rolling. Oh man, I can imagine him. He didn't get like, tired out at all. Yeah. Oh, he wanted more because <laughs> he does mountains, dude. It's crazy. He looks like he's in shape. Oh, he's in shape. Rojo's always been in shape. Yeah, since you guys were doing paint guns and yeah. all that stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, he stays in. He shape. He was always one of the ones pushing me, like to you know, like keep on the work. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So salute to Rojo. What about um? Steph Tune. No, he didn't go oh, yeah. yesterday. Nah, I'm talking about <laughs> oh the original ride. He yeah. tried to get off the bike and walk. <laughs> yeah, well, legs was like, nope, I don't think so. Well, he had a heavy ass bike too, though. Yeah, like it's a good bike, but it's a heavy one for the type of ride we do. You know what I mean? I would imagine if if you've been riding it long enough and you if you've ridden this before, it's not it won't be as hard, but it's still a heavy bike. Um. If I think if if he were to like you know do a few more rides and ride you know use a lighter bike like we got, he could probably do it like that that particular ride we did. I don't know about the Dodger Stadium ride. That takes a few rides before you get your leg strength ready for that. I train, like I like I fucking train to go on tour and I train for life, yep. not just for any particular thing. You know, I, like I constantly do this so. My legs are together for shit like that. You know what I mean? Plus, I used to ride a lot as a kid. But if you haven't ridden in a long time, yeah, <laughs> you know. So you can't do Dodger Stadium in a day. <laughs> yes, yeah. you cannot do Dodger Stadium first, second ride. And that's even if you, you got to build up to. Yeah. If you're working out, like, in doing all that shit, you got a better chance. But if you're not doing yeah. anything, that is a brutal, yeah. brutal ride you got if you ain't got no legs don't take it and if you think that you're just gonna possibly even go out and attempt it and you may even pull it off the next day you're gonna have the worst day of your life uh, yeah. you will not be able to get out of bed spaghetti oh, yeah. yeah you couldn't spaghetti get off the sandwich. toilet you know what i'm saying yeah, <laughs> straight yeah. up do that. <laughs> do that hey and my legs are cool right now i ain't sore at all see that's the telltale of <laughs> of truly what condition you're in it's the next day well, I had to get myself ready for this tour because, you know, I was down for those eight weeks. And so I had to, like, 
you know, snap in fast and, and like not not overdoing it, but like doing enough to like get my shit together. So But you've always been an avid, you know, person about that, you know, of not getting in shape for tour. You stay in shape for like for life. life. Yeah. Yeah. And and that makes sense. Stay in shape for life. 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 Yeah, it was a good ride though. It was a hard ride, I'll tell you. And that's every Monday night you guys been doing that? They do it every Monday night. I like I do it when I can. Mm. You know, as of late it's been every other. Um, yeah, cuz I can't ride every every. Do they got an Instagram page, Pedro? Yeah, LA Riders. LA Riders. LA Riders? Yeah. Right. I think it's with a Z, right? Uh or yeah. I probably just has some underscores in between them. And do they just let anybody that wants to ride ride with them or is it like Well, they got to know you got legs. If they're doing an easy ride, yeah, cool. and that that'll probably be a mass ride. But if you're like trying to do the hard ride, yeah, yeah they're gonna test you <laughs> for sure. Like I said, no no spaghetti legs. Uh, guys, uh, so as as we're rolling <laughs> up, we're like kind of maybe like a quarter of the ride through. As we're going up towards Elysian Park, one of the homies' uh, pedals, like the bolt in the pedal, mm -hmm. snapped. And he didn't have an extra one. He had to bow out right there. That he had to call an Uber and Dip out, yeah. head back to the studio and pick up the car. Which shows me and tells me that he was being hard on that pedal, like cranking hard, like at that or, point. Or he hadn't checked the pedal. Yeah, I mean, shit happens though. Yeah, you can snap that this stud. Is, That's a lot of yeah, pressure. Yeah. This is because uh, they filmed the ride as we're going. Oh, that looks yeah. like fun. Look like some heavy. This is like, this isn't a ride I was on. This was probably I think the week before I came on. That's a I mean, before bike. I came back on because I had dope to, bikes. Because I had to do the the thing with Georgia Perez at the comedy store. So they did the this ride on that weekend. They'll probably they'll probably put last night's ride up tomorrow. Uh -huh. I wouldn't do no tricks on no bike. Uh -huh. Yeah, you're not ready for that. Jumping stairs. Yeah. I don't even attempt it. Shit. Oh, there you go. There that, he goes right that's there. That's shin shot with that the pedal. That was the shin check, dog. Yeah, that's the old there's, pedal. There's the chin check and the shin check, <laughs> dog. Did you guys see the uh, the eclipse yesterday? I missed the eclipse. It? Yeah. I was in here. It was crazy. When I was leaving the house, I saw like it was. It looked weird outside. So I went. It got outside. gray all of a sudden. Yeah. Well, it was already gray to begin with. And I was like, oh wait, it looks a little dark. Something was off. Yeah. Yeah. Something was off. So right then, I had this little stone that a homegirl gave me a while back, a, a piece of onyx, and it perfectly. I was able to see the, the uh, the eclipse with it. I was like, oh wow. But it's not as intense as you as you would see it if you were in, like in Texas or like somewhere yeah. on, on that side. Because I was seeing some videos and it, it got. Got pretty crazy. Yeah, there was a a video of this this dude was on an airplane when it happened. Oh, that shit looked crazy. Yeah, wow. And I seen some footage too of like uh, Ozzy Osbourne posted where he was performing and during his performance, uh, Bark of the Moon, I think. No the, way. The eclipse went off. Oh. And it was it was like it was it was like the perfect rock perfect, star moment. Perfect rock star moment. Yeah. Huh? He has wow. it on his IG, but yeah, that shit is it's it's pretty crazy. Like. Seeing that, and it was in 2017, I think. So oh, I was when it happened crazy in 2017, yeah. Um, yeah, some people were like talking about. Uh, they were talking about on the news how some people like decided they were going to look at it <laughs> without oh. protective. Yeah, that, and then that, they and then they started complaining the next day. Oh, I, my eyes hurt, and you know, like what they said is it's like. They all felt like there was sand in it, like gritty. Yeah, they it's said. like well, you like everybody in life is telling you not to look at Thank it you. without like protective yeah. glasses, and you looked at it. What like, did you think was gonna happen? Literally, welders were saying that like if you really wanted to do it safely, you needed something like a welding helmet to look at it, like that yeah. kind of a thing. People so, that don't believe it was real yeah, hurt their eyes. They're like, no, oh, well. Come on. And that's been going on for like ever though. Like for for as long as I've heard of an eclipse happening, there's always been those protective wear that I've known. It's just I don't know how people are. Yeah, like, I mean, oh, I don't, I don't want to trust the, that because the sun is behind the moon, and once once it happens, bro, that's go. It, it's, the light turned off. The, the light, yeah. <laughs> 
There's been some some funny memes yeah. on the on the eclipse too. So for sure, mad funny. Yeah, like Pedro was saying, this was in Dallas, Texas. And you could see it pretty well. Pretty crazy. Turn dark. Yeah, look oh, at that. Look at that. That's crazy. It looks like an eyeball. And that was three thirty in the afternoon. Oh shit! It looks like an eyeball right there. You saw that? Straight up. Crazy. Fritz, I'm looking at you. Did you go to the city? Yeah, look at that. Whoa. Hey. And that's in the day. <laughs> that's like five. Think about minutes. thousands of years ago when people didn't understand what that was. They, yeah. they were freaking out. Oh. It's the end of the world. <laughs> Message from the gods. That's of some kind. From the gods. We're going to die. Yeah, that's something. We got to sacrifice this person. Oh, man. God is looking at us. Sacrifice someone right now. Yes. And then it's naturally. It does look back. like an eyeball looking at you from back. <laughs> sacrifice a thousand people right now. <laughs> Speed it as many as they want. Damn. Yeah. Crazy times. <laughs> I would imagine there's still people that freak out. I mean, yeah, for sure. There's people that freak out off that. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, we didn't get it like that so much no. on the West Coast like that. No, we didn't get it like that. No. We just got a little piece. <laughs> a little, little taste. We got a little yeah. snizzle, you know what I'm saying? We got the tail end of that. <laughs> exactly. We still had like 50% light. Yeah, the airplane video was crazy. That one Where was homies like thing. got the camera pointed out the window as it's happening. Yeah, that one was a trip. Cause you just see it like go like page start from left to right. Mm. Yeah. In a matter of seconds. It was, it was crazy. It's, uh, you know... It's pretty trippy when you when you're in the air and it happens and you get a chance to catch it. Any of that yeah. kind of stuff. Like the, there's a big deal that there was the same type of thing during New Year's uh, in Las Vegas, which is always like huge fireworks and that kind of stuff on the casino. And there was a plane and a pilot took a photo as he was flying out, literally as the fireworks were coming up at the plane. Like it looked like literally like the fireworks were being shot at this plane. Mm. It wasn't, but. But it looked that way. Yeah. It was one of those, you know, the timing was just impeccable that he was taking off and it was it was happening as it, you know, as he was going by. One of those rare moments. Caught on film. It's a rare ting, man. Caught on film. Yeah, man. It's uh crazy shit. They it's also on stank ass KTLA this morning. Yeah. We're talking about uh I don't know what airline, but like the flight was about to take off, and they noticed that the the engine compartment, like or the the ballast that goes around the engine or whatever that wraps the wheel, yeah, that no, that wraps the engine. Oh, like okay, was engine like, cover was like fucked up. The, uh -huh. it, like it looked, it was like how the hell are they allowing this thing to even get on the runway? Wow. It, like I don't that. know if you could find that, Barry, but to find uh, this. yeah, it was on the news this morning. And that was here in the States? I don't, yeah, I think it was here in the States. Wow. Someone looked out the window and, and alerted. Uh, well, the airline think, industry, it's been rough on them since that whole, you know, the Boeing thing going on with the, you know, the whistleblower and all that with, you know, the aircraft maintenance. And then you hear stories like that. You're just like, whoa. Oh, yeah, it, was, it looked crazy this morning. Yeah, it says uh, the engine cowling fell off. Um, the Southwest Airlines flight returned safely to Denver um, Sunday after a removable piece of metal that covers the engine fell off and <laughs> struck a wing flap. Oh, damn. Yeah. That's serious stuff right there. That's in the Southwest, air. man. Southwest. Yeah. Damn. Man, Southwest. And I believe they fly the, Bo uh, the Boeing 737s. Yeah. Huh? Ouch. And I've seen also another another one that went viral too, where this uh, the pilot I think was fixing the window seat of the of the the window of the plane before it took off too, and that one went went viral. And what happened to the window? Uh, I didn't really see it, but he was just kind of fixing, trying to fix it. I don't know if it was out of place or lock something. Lock it in the place. Yeah, he was just like oh. trying to lock it in the place before the flight, and it's just like, yo, dude, if that window just pops off. It's just like, oh, it's he like. Yeah, oh, it's, it's not a good thing. Yeah, those are pressurized cockpits and stuff like that. That wouldn't work. It, you know, would it fly twenty thousand feet? Get, get sucked out of that cockpit. <laughs> Thank you. Son. Through a hole this big. <laughs> <laughs> Pause. No diddy. No diddy. <laughs> that wow. That's a new saying now. Yeah. 
That's the new catchphrase. Getting out there. Yeah. Yeah. It's getting out there, man. Yeah. Oh, boy. No Meek Mills. <laughs> That's crazy. There was there was a crazy one on him this morning. <laughs> well, yeah, it was. Uh, uh, it was for it was the WrestleMania, was, yeah, right? For his scream. For, for rock, the, yeah, yeah the, the way he said, "Get up to somebody." To, to the Rock, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> it was the Rock. That was pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, the internet yeah. always wins. Trust You're me. not going to beat the internet. It's undefeated ever, ever. You cannot beat it. The only. The only time where the where someone won the internet and it happened recently, I don't know if you guys seen it, was when that guy that 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 uh he was dressed fresh, but the chicks are telling him, You ain't fresh, you ain't fresh. Right. And he was like, I ain't fresh. And that it's it's uh it's it's, it's he's gone very viral and like the whole internet supported him where they were like, What do you mean? He's fresh as hell, he's rolling the polo. His uh, his shoes match the polo. Oh, he's wearing I did a, see that. He's wearing like a, a even amount of of. He's clean, you yeah, know. He's clean, exactly. Yeah, and so the internet got his back, like, and they were shitting on the people that were like, "You ain't fresh, you ain't fresh." And it was like, "Yo, for like a 30, 40, for like a forty year old man, he's dressed according to how yeah, he's yeah, supposed like Air to Force dress." Ones on and stuff. something new, and he was crisp and fresh. Yeah. Is this who you are talking about? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, there he is, is fresh. Like, I ain't fresh. What? That's not the video, but. But it's the uh, that's that guy, and he got endorsement deals from different brands. Hey, and look, like, he's clean. From he is. Oh, clean. he was wearing New Balances, so that threw some folks off. Okay. Yeah, so he was dressed fresh, and people were bagging him for his for his fit. I mean, he's and they, he's old school. You could tell the white t shirt under the polo. Yeah, you know. And the internet backed him up. Like, yo, what do you mean he ain't fresh? He's fresh as hell. Nice. And I feel like New Balances are almost just as popular as like Nikes nowadays. Like, they are people now. People are loving them. Y'all motherfuckers called them dad shoes, and now y'all are wearing your dad shoes. How you feel about that, Bolton? <laughs> I got some right no, now. I think they're cool. Like these ones, this guy's wearing right here. I would actually buy a pair of these. Those look really nice. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. New and they are, are undoubtedly the most comfortable shoe I have ever owned. Like I almost. Because I'm such an, a Nike, you know, Jordan collector and all that stuff that I feel bad about saying it, but truth be told, it is the most comfortable shoe I have ever worn. Yeah. I, I'm in that, and that's not an endorsement. I bought my pair, <laughs> but giving them, it's facts. You know, I remember Jeff Rowe used to clown me for wearing um, New Balance once upon a time, and now all the cool kids are wearing them, <laughs> Jeff Rowe. Now what? Yeah. I could like pop my New Balances back on stage, and ain't nobody gonna say shit now right. except Jeff Rowe and his scuff shoes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Look, if you put uh, hashtag Be Real TV in your super chat, you'll have a chance to win a free pair of tickets to All Time High, May fourth. All right, must be 18 years and over with fo photo, <laughs> with valid photo ID. No refunds, no exchanges. We'll pick the winner of this tick of these tickets on Friday. So, uh, you know, hashtag Be Real TV in that super chat. Don't forget because that's gonna be a off the chain. Um, that's the Ontario show? That is Ontario. That's the one. That's the one that folks, they got that on the calendar for sure. That's going to be a big one. May the 4th be with you. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm excited to see 3-6 uh, uh, Mafia. Yeah. They're, they're, they should be dope. I've never seen them ever live. I want to see everybody. Yeah. Hell yeah. We'll be smoking big with Burner, that's for sure. Yeah, Burns Ellie will be in the house. Yeah. Hell Salute. Yeah. Um, so for your chances, take up, take your chances, B. Oh yeah, pop it off, pop it off. You um, know what? A uh, event is having uh, tickets. Uh, it's hard. It's hard to sell tickets for the event too. What's it's that? For the uh, the Ryan Garcia four twenty fight. Nobody's buying tickets. Yeah, for so the that, Ryan Garcia fight. Yeah, because you you I've seen something where like you go on Ticketmaster and they have nearly like almost every seat available. Like, wow. only a few are taken up, but, like, if you look at it right now, usually you think a fight would be sold out, but there's, like, more than enough. But let me ask you this. Do you think that that whole, like, thing that he's been doing on Instagram and the post that he's been making, do you think it's actually, like, hurt him? Maybe it worked against him. That's what I'm yeah. getting at. Because, yeah. I mean, usually shit like that will sell you tickets because people want to see the, the, the train wreck. But uh, maybe just either nobody... I, 
I can't I can't explain why he's not selling tickets. Yeah. That's hard to say. Who's this? Uh Ryan Garcia and uh who's he fighting? De- Alex Devin, Haney. De- Devin, Devin Haney. Right? Devin Haney, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. Um and I mean they they thought that would sell a lot of tickets. And unless he he's kind of a very colorful dude. Um couple weeks back it was rumored that he was kidnapped and you know all, someone had stolen his phone and that, and that could that could potentially be working against him all the all the little crazy shit and, that, and um he says crazy stuff sometimes that's just i think like you say it works against him yeah and it could be that people don't believe him anymore like in terms of his ability because the way that gervonta uh took him down with the body shot you know, yeah. in their fight, people not, might not be like compelled to buy this. Like, oh, we know he's gonna, we know he's gonna lose off top. He's probably gonna get knocked out, and he might not. He's 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 a pretty talented fighter, but he was untested. He got it. He like, and then finally, you know, he they put up, they put him up with someone like Gervonta, who's definitely tested. Oh yeah, who everybody knew had dynamite in his hands, and uh, you know, he he'd been in many fights yeah and then the fact that he went out too like a like a body shot too he wasn't expecting that yeah oh man and they're both pretty good fighters so you'd expect them to sell out an arena and like draw the crowd because their previous uh history and who they fought before each one of them like just single-handedly they both got pretty a pretty reputable uh background so it's it's crazy I think that they didn't they haven't sold it out or you know just sold any tickets. I think sometimes with the fighters when the story of the fighter becomes more so than the fighter, I, I think that I don't know, there's just it's it's just not you don't have that fighter in you anymore. The story now is more than the than you being the fighter. Well, you know, all the stuff that he's talked, I guess, you know, like um worked against right the ticket yeah. sales or something, or maybe he, I don't know. I I can't explain it. Um, could be that it like people just ain't buying it one way or another, whether they like buy into the stuff that he's he's talking about, but like I'm not gonna watch this fight because I don't really have confidence. He yeah. talks a lot of conspiracy theory things. Yeah. I mean, who yeah. knows what it is, but like I sometimes mean sometimes it's out there like like you know, and sometimes people even question is like, is is he acting? Like, is this an act or like they? It's I don't know. So I like, and it's on four twenty. Let's be honest. Yeah. Everybody's gonna be We're out smoking. there celebrating, partying, smoking, and it's the, in New York. Yeah, yeah. You know, like yeah. And Cyprus is a New York area. Come well, on now. Well, we're in Jersey. That's, well, yeah, in the area. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But Come I'm on. saying on the day of right. four twenty. There's gonna be people out there celebrating. They're not like trying to be inside watching a boxing match. Yeah, but best believe a lot, a lot of people from New York are, is taking that ride to to Atlantic City. Yeah, for sure. You know, yeah, that'll be a good one. You don't want to miss that Cypress out in in, in, in Atlantic City, <laughs> Hard Rock. Yeah, the Hard yeah, that's Rock. That's gonna be good. Buy it. It's I guess our like one of our first four twenties like official on the East Coast, like in a place where it's legal. Oh, that's dope. Yeah. yeah. We also start our tour on the, the 20th. Nice. 420 Beat Nuts tour sets off. Golden Ever tour. So we'll get ready for that. Where are you guys, Ooh, where are you guys kicking off? Uh, I forgot. Somewhere East Coast and then working all the way to the West. Nice. Yes, indeed. But um, on, the, on another note, it's my birthday month. Hey, so we popping it off every day. Birthday so. month. Oh, uh, you're one of those guys, yeah. Les. The whole month is whole just. Month. <laughs> Hell yeah. Salute. Cheers. I know Cali Blaze is like you. Said it right cheers, cheers to Cali. You know, sure. get better. And um, yeah, cheers to us, man. There's a lot of things going on this month. So Salute. we getting it popping. Much health, much success. To you got everybody. a little bottle of voo there? You got a little bottle of voo? You know, the voo. The voo. Yeah, a little voodoo. That's not bad, the voo. Yes. People be overlooking it, but it's really good. The Viv. We used to, Bobo and I used to rock those on Friday nights at the at the radio station when we we're doing Soul Assassins. That was the beverage of choice. That was the bre- beverage of choice. That right there, don't fool yourself. That's a two hundred and fifty dollar bottle at the pool at Vegas. 
Yeah. yeah. They're going to get you for that right there. They're going to get you for that, boy. <laughs> You're going to pay dearly for that Please at the pool. Please believe that shit. And, and, and <laughs> pool season just started last week out in Vegas. Yeah. Uh-huh. Come on. I used to go hard with the champagne back back in the days. I would like buy like two, three of these at one time, just and we gonna pop it off, you know. But you know, now it's just for like special occasions. Do you not remember being the last when we saw uh, Les overseas in Germany when we oh, walked up? Yeah, and Les is over there. We walked up and there's yeah. Les two fisted bottles of champagne yeah. oh, either, under each yeah. arm. I was like, oh. good to see you, Les, in yeah. Germany. No <laughs> nice. It took it took me like like a week to recover from that hangover, yo. I was plastered. <laughs> I was plastered, yo. But it was a fun fun. That was fun. It, it was the end of our tour, so it's the end. I don't care, man. Let's pop it off. And do you remember B when we saw Les walking across the street when he came out of the train? We were up on the balcony smoking weed, and it wasn't you that said, "Is that Les over there?" <laughs> yeah. And he was coming out of the train. We were in Germany, and he's like, "Is that Les?" <laughs> <laughs> sure was. And it was Les. <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> Kelly Blaze is in the chat saying, "You get one day less." Nah. It's the whole month, baby. I, I'm gonna side with <laughs> Callie on this one. I'm uh, yeah, because uh, I've been around guys like that. Like Franny's one of those guys. The whole month, like June first, he's a Gemini, like like you, right? And, and uh, the whole month is you know Gemini season. You know what I'm saying? That but, is true. It's Gemini season, but I don't feel the need to like you. a party beyond my day. Yeah. To me, it's just a, a lot of responsibility, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I got a party as, every day. As far as I was told, you were not born, you were created. Created. Yeah. See that? I mean, you, you don't only gotta, have one day of creation. You don't got a party every day. Just pop it off. It didn't day. take seven days to create me. It took <laughs> one whole day. Or night. <laughs> oh, no. I don't but know. not last night. <laughs> not last night. <laughs> Yeah, well, you know, hey, party as you will, though. You know, if if you want to take the month, it's your choice. It's by choice. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You could totally celebrate yourself for the month. Um, I just, for me, I cannot celebrate <laughs> for a month. It's just, I can't. Yeah, and no, I'm a one day or two. Yeah. I'm a one day. Hey, Psycho, I think I found your schedule right here. <laughs> Okay, but no doubt. Massachusetts. Okay. Tour schedule, all right. Up there yeah. in B.C. too. Up yeah, we, there. I'm happy about going back to Vancouver. You know, there's a lot of good trees up there. Gorgeous. Yes, there is. A gorgeous area. That is yeah. not wrong. That is absolutely one hundred percent right. Newcastle is popping. You yeah. know, the crowd is crazy. So you Damn. guys are going to U.K.? Yeah, that's oh, U.K. Wow. That's that's the next tour after the U.S. tour, though. But, um, yeah. Netherlands. Going to the Netherlands. Wow, yeah. France. Oh, you guys are rolling. Gonna be eating snails in France, Les. Rolling, rolling, that, rolling. <laughs> you ate snails before? Escargot? Eh, I tasted it. But it's not, it's not really for me. All right. I haven't tried it yet. You eat escargot? Uh, nah. No? Nah. I mean, I've tried it, but I'll pass. When we were in France last time, Bobo, first thing when we stopped in at one of these little bistros, big plate of snails. and he Bo- just, Bobo's, yeah, yeah Bobo's had escargot. He oh, loves You know what happened it. after that? Huh? Secago. Huh? Oh, man. Secago. <laughs> <laughs> Went from escargot to secago. Is it like eating an oyster, would you say? That means shit, uh, <laughs> Bolton. He shitted. <laughs> <laughs> Noted. <laughs> And I'm cool with oysters, but that right there, that just, you know, I don't know. And it's like a certain type yeah. of snail, though, right? They didn't just pick up any snail? I, I don't care what kind of snail it is. <laughs> snail is a snail, you know snails what I mean? Are, <laughs> snails, snails are snail, baby. Snail. Even with all that butter, <laughs> it's still a snail. Thank you. Yeah. Right. Bobo don't give a shit. He'll eat that snail, bro. And he was over there. <laughs> Making noises with it. He, oh. he won't even. He won't eat an avocado or a tomato or a tomato. But he will eat the shit out of the <laughs> snail. <laughs> oh, man. go figure. Cockroach. <laughs> That's different, but <laughs> it's still still a the snail. cockroach of the sea. That's what I'm saying. See, it's a texture. What thing. a snail? Yeah. Snails no, no, snails ain't it. This is no. These are garden these snails. These are garden snails. Oh, garden snails. Yeah. yeah, and they raise them less. They put them in like these, like controlled areas, so they eat. So certain... why are they considered seafood? They're not. They're not. No, okay. no, no, no. All right. They're not sea snails. They're not different. T- different well, thing. They, these are like the ones that like you were saying oysters. 
Oh, no, no. The two different oysters. worlds. Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, no. No, he does oysters for yeah. sure, but he also does snails. Okay. It's that texture. Snail. You know what I mean? It's snail texture. Ugh. Oh uh, yeah. Same here. Was, it's that gag reflex. Thing. You know what I mean? You get it like right here. <laughs> how do you, how do you prepare these things? Do you think like they? I would not even. Garlic know. and butter, and they yeah. steam raw. Them. It's like raw. steam them steam, like steam. like clams. Okay, okay. And they put it in garlic and butter, and then they put it and they pour it all over it, and it's. <laughs> See, I, I've seen him do that in terms of like the the escargot, the fish eggs. I never seen him do that. I can't say I've seen him do that part. <laughs> foul that is give you that fork to pull it out you know what i mean and it's like there it is it's only fish eggs doc oh the the, you're talking about uh like the row the row caviar caviar there you go yeah yeah Yeah, i guess he's that he i haven't seen him do that see him do the escargot but not the caviar i'll do caviar but that's on a cracker you know what i'm saying that's that's what i tasted the caviar not the snails yeah oh yeah you see i've had i've had the caviar couple times it's all right yeah it's not for me the Can't snails I, i've i've tried once or twice but like i just can't yeah that was i tried it once but i, I mean i wanted to experience it i mean even if you if it's if it's not something but at least experience just so you know when people bring it up and say oh i tried it yeah you know yeah sure that look at there it goes oh, boom let's God. take that uh, snail out yeah so take it out there's that fork Bang. And the way, okay. <laughs> Pedro now, just hurt. You know what's that so hurt the, Pedro? So they right give now. you that thing to hold it. And so this already looks like some medical thing going on. Bobo will CG. do it right here. This uh, Bobo, all of it. All day, huh? And Pedro, when you pull it out, uh-huh. it kind of does this. Like a uh-huh. 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 You know, It's so <laughs> nasty. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You've made it sound even worse. Yeah. It's, uh-huh. it's called go. Uh-huh. It's like, ah. Uh-huh. Does it like pop in your mouth when you yeah. bite on it? I bet uh-huh. you Cali Blaze could make this. Oh, for sure. Yeah, Easily. Yeah, I mean, in reality, it's really simple because I think at one point it was like poverty food with the people during, like, famine that started eating snails and stuff like that. And now it's for the ghosts. Yeah, and exactly. Now it's Michelin-rated, you know, cuisine. Yeah. How's that work? Funny how that happens. Yeah. Let us make you feel special by serving you some shit you don't understand and overcharging you you for it. Yeah. It used to be what was known as peasant food, and now it's fifty-five dollars on a plate for four of them. Yeah, for something you probably stepped on by accident <laughs> in your own garden. <laughs> Seems like it. Escargot, huh? No, no, thank you. Sec-a-go. I'll try it, but after that, uh, I wouldn't. Because I tried an oyster once, and I didn't really like it. So I, I would figure it's the same type of same texture. texture. Yeah, same yeah. texture. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah. Maybe throw some tapatio in that snail, but I don't know. Pedro, you he can't says put... you can't throw tapatio. <laughs> like, Come on, man! On you can't. <laughs> well, I guess you can. Yeah, Pedro. I mean you can, I mean... but it's like putting ketchup on a steak. <laughs> <laughs> it's not uh, bad. <laughs> it's not bad. Right. What's the weirdest thing you put ketchup on? Probably my eggs. Your eggs. I mean, eggs? I want to that's, talk that's about. Weird. That's weird. Not weird. <laughs> Because I know, I don't know, I don't know if that's so weird with the yeah. eggs. I've seen people do that. Yeah. I've seen them do it with, uh, you know, tits out and uh, tits covered, uh, nuts kicked, the whole shit. Oh man, this is all new terminology for Trace. No, yeah. I know, I, I know exactly what you're talking about. I don't know, I don't know about ketchup on the tits, but I know like, <laughs> like, 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 like an omelet or a scramble. Oh, yeah, yeah, right, for sure. I've seen that. Yeah, yeah. uh, but- potato chips. Potato chips. Not I, bad. I, I, someone told me if you eat Lay's with ketchup, it tastes like In and Out fries, and I tried it, what? and it and it does. Well, it makes sense because up in Canada, the big thing up there is those ketchup potato chips. Yeah. No, it's different though. But that flavor thing, I'm saying, so there must be something to it. <laughs> I just don't see dipping potato chips in ketchup. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I, I found out that one when like one of my cousins would put like, and this weirded me out. I was like, oh man, the people look at me weird for putting like ketchup on a on fucking uh on eggs right i'm like yo that's normal but they're like yeah i put ketchup on on uh on the, my top ramen noodles hmm. i was like what really they're like that's yeah. crazy let me ask you this do you put ketchup on a hot dog yeah yeah of course you do yeah you do yeah you do less but i don't put ketchup on a sandwich i put everything on the ketchup on the hot dog I the mustard hmm. if onions like on a, on a sandwich i don't put ketchup i put you know Mayo maybe a mayo and maybe a little bit of mustard, yeah. but like on a burger, I might put ketchup. Yeah, I do definitely. Mm. Yeah, on a burger, 
Yeah. I'll, right. I'll mm-hmm. throw a little mustard on the ketchup and, uh, on and, the on the burger and on the hot dog. Can't do ketchup on a hot dog. I'll be honest with you. Mustard what? and onion. Really? Yeah. yeah. You ever did mustard on a burger? It's pretty good too. Yeah, I've I've recently started putting a the hint of mustard. Yeah, a little, little yeah. in my shit. A little bit of mustard. Well, if you go to In and Out Burger, you can you can say no that's you know the sauce do you, and yeah. do ketchup and mustard. Do you put yeah. mayo on your hot dog? No. Lightly, light mayo. Or I get the mayo I, and I and I and I put it on the bun and I toast it. Yeah. And that's how I like, you know, avoid That's not a bad taste. technique, Pedro. Yeah. Trying to have a stroke? You mean is that what you're trying to do? No, that's no. not. That's not barbecue so, and mayo on a hot dog bun. No, you, no, no, no. You warm up the bun first, and then you put the mayo on uh, after. What do you? Yeah, and then you crazy? toast it. I fucks. You know what? I I fucks with some fries and some garlic mayo. That those that's banging. Yeah. Garlic mayo. Oh yeah, true that. Garlic mayo. All right, I'm hungry as a hostage right now. <laughs> that's what happened. You're talking about food. I'll wait for submissions. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't get any better i already know this you that know then answers the question though what what's the weirdest thing you well what what what's the weirdest thing you put ketchup on? i mean i'll be honest like ketchup to me like the weirdest thing you could do is put it on a steak oh yeah i put it on pizza before pizza yeah. what what i had it with pizza before yeah that's crazy not too bad not too bad on it's marinara sauce you know what? Sauce. No. Yeah. it's not the same no. pedro have you uh tasted the infused ketchup the, like the heinz they got the uh sriracha infused and that kind of stuff it's pretty good i don't know what the craziest thing i've ever put ketchup on i don't think i've ever put anything too cra- like nah no. would you ever put ketchup on a steak yeah no i have you have less yeah I have, but I, I don't do it on the regular. But I have, and what it, was the not, reason? Like, I'm like, like it, I just wanted a little flavor. Yeah, mm-hmm. little, you know, steak was and a I'll, little dry. I'll, I'll, if yeah, the, was, uh, yeah if the steak is yeah. completely dry, bland or dry. Makes yeah, sense. you might you might find yourself <laughs> if you have ketchup, if right. you don't have steak sauce, whatever. You know what I'm saying? But even even hot sauce on the steak, I'll, not that bad. You know? Yeah, hot sauce. Yeah. See, I think that steak should like reflect its flavor, like putting A one and all that stuff on it. Nah, yeah, it takes yeah. away. From I don't it. really fuck with the A one. To me, it's like rolling good weed in a blunt. Now I'm all all I'm tasting is the blunt. It's like when you put all that ketchup sauce that's and barbecue what, sauce that's, on it. That's why when you go to really good steak houses, you don't need any of the condiments. They have them there, mm. but you don't really need them, and you don't want them because ah, it's that good, right? Yeah. And some places. They only have condiments. It's like you're having it like this, straight up. You know, you know what? When I was younger, like my mom's sometimes would make me rice with eggs, and I'd throw a little ketchup in there, and the rice and the eggs. It was, it was a nice look. Yeah, I can see that. I can. I'll tell you the weirdest shit I've seen someone put in their food, and it was my older brother back when we were much younger. He was in his teens, and you know I was much younger than him. I see him put a scoop of mayo in his rice. And we've uh, said this before here, but that was the craziest shit I've seen. Like whoa, someone man. scooping mayonnaise in their white rice and like eating it like that. I uh, like could not understand that shit. I still don't to this day. Yeah. It was almost traumatizing. You know what I'm saying? It's a miracle. It's almost it. like a rice pudding. You think you're going to have like a rice pudding and then it's like <laughs> rice mayo. Mayo, rice mayo, yeah. <laughs> A rice salad, you know, like, because that's the way you make a potato salad or an egg salad. You use mayo with that yeah. unless you're like Bolton and use Miracle Whip, which <laughs> Okay, don't. I don't use no. that. You lie. You said you did. <laughs> <laughs> no, growing up as a kid, my mom always bought Miracle Whip. Ugh. It would actually, like, frustrate my dad. He would always be like, why does she buy that? Like, <laughs> can't she just buy regular mayo? Yeah. <laughs> So I guess my brother was making rice salads. <laughs> I call it that. That's funny. Oh, no. Shit was crazy to me, but that's that's about the craziest thing I've seen. Rice man, I've been seeing people mix their food so much. How about uh, mussels? You guys like mussels? Yeah, I'll yeah, have those some are mussels. good. Those are good. Yeah. What are those? Right there. Oh, is that supposed to be seafood? Mm-hmm. Similar that, to the clams. Yeah, I don't mess uh, with those. You don't do any seafood. No seafood for me. Allergic or just don't get that? Uh, yeah, kind of allergic. Not no crazy. What do you mean, shit. kind of allergic? Because I used to eat it all my life and, and not know that I was allergic until I grew up and I was I realized that, you know, I'll, I'll get some shit on my tongue or on my lips or something. I'll be like... Oh, so you oh. get a reaction, like an yeah, allergic like, reaction. Yeah. But it's not... It's like real small, but I'm like... 
I realized it after I was older. Like when I was young, I'm anytime like, you would eat it, it would yeah, react. I, when you're young, you don't even know about these things. It's like you're just eating everything. So that but, sucks. But now it's like, yeah, I stay away from it. But that's that's you know that's what happens as you get older. Your body reacts different to things that you used to be able to you know have yeah. before. Now you can't have it, and a lot of times your doctor will tell you, "Hey, you got to stop having this or this because." Your body is re- reacting this. Yeah. Way I used to, to love. It. I used to love me some shrimps, like fried shrimps, slime, and City Island in New York. Everybody goes to City Island, and it's like a lot of seafood and shit going on. But I still eat fish, though. I, some well, that's good. I still like fish. At least, you, at least you could eat fish. Yeah. I mean, the rest of being hey, you don't really need it, but yeah, you know, at least you know, because some people will still have it and fuck themselves up. Yeah, and I know, but um, yeah. As a kid, you don't you don't even realize, you know. Yeah, and you could take it as a kid. You know, you eat that shit up, and it ain't really like you ain't feeling it. You don't feel it till you're older. Mm-hmm. And that's the that's the cold part about it. Yeah, I've cut my consumption down on like red meat quite a bit now. Like yeah. I used to be, you know, I could tear up steaks a couple nights a week. How about you know? the coke? <laughs> <laughs> cherry, cherry, cherry still, coke. still working on okay. the coke huh? you know, like, like cherry coke right just had you know, that was like a, that was like a gut shot right there B. still like, check uh, still checking in on the no, coke, like not, like two cans a day i don't buy that i swear to you <laughs> like sometimes i'll crack the third but i don't finish it that's good yeah not like bad. yeah i'm I, down i'm down I, what I'm happens what happens if you don't drink coke one day like it's not nice less it's it's yeah. just bad things you know why start shaking yes <laughs> no, I mean, oh my God. no. In reality, um, it's it's the sugar thing for sure. You know what I mean? Like, I need that bump of sugar. You know what I mean? And and that's what it's about. <laughs> you need that bump of sugar. Huh? You know what I mean? It's like you know, we're out on tour and stuff, and you go backstage, and there's some nice. You know, sometimes they're even bottles. You know what I mean? It's like, oh my God, it's like yeah. But so I'm down to like two two cans a day now. I'm, I'm much better. Well, yeah. that is better. Yeah, I mean, last tour I was like six a six pack. So now you get it down to one, son. I know. It's you know what it is. It's like for dinner, I just like I like a nice ice cold coke with my dinner. Mm. All right. I know. You, you'll get along with um, my DJ from Europe. He's he's he drinks coke for breakfast. <laughs> no, I can't do that. No. Yeah, he's everything. It's it's a coke. Wow. Yeah, no. Nah, uh, I mean, at one point in the worst I was at was probably drinking like ten sodas a day. Now. Yeah. And like summertime out in Vegas, man, if they were glass bottles. <laughs> That's a lot of sugar, man. Yeah, it but was I, bad. I am going to say the, the European Cokes uh, taste a little better, I think. I, I would agree with that. Um, Eitan says, um, you we... bought a Dr. Pepper today. I did. Uh, a bottle, not a can. And said, oh. Dr. Pepper's <laughs> used to be the shit too, man. You're, you're changing it up, huh? I just yeah, switch it up. See, I'm trying to wean myself off of the Coke. Yeah, but you're like weaning yourself onto another <laughs> soda. You need to <sighs> lean into this. Oh, yeah, there you go, Les. <laughs> Try to turn me in. <laughs> he now. said yeah, wean into this. <laughs> <laughs> Have some alcohol, Trace. This will make it all better. <laughs> Thanks, Les. He said you're going from one soda to another. It's not about all like right, th- all right. This is the same dude this morning on my live on my wake and bake show that told me that my eyes look angelic. Okay, so I mean, you know, what I mean? <laughs> you got uh, angelical eyes. Yeah, I guess I thought they were just bloodshot, but apparently to Aton they were angelic. All right. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm not even listening to him. But he has a point though. Like it's you're you're supposed to you're weaning off of Coke, right? And you're trying to wean off of Coke by going to Dr Pepper. No, that's not what I'm getting. I'm just trying to get like off, off the, <laughs> off the coke, like Relax. taste in my mouth. I'm trying to do something else. So okay, and not so many. How like, about like a juice? <laughs> I do. I'm on the the ocean spray. That's or my a, thing. Or a seltzer water. I'm huh? on the no. I'm on the cran raspberries. That's what I've been doing now. <laughs> smoothie or something. Uh, yeah, I mean <laughs> smoothie. Yeah, I mean if I guess, but I just want you know that. <laughs> you'll see. You'll be proud of me on this tour. Bro. All right, we're going to see. We're going to see. You'll be, and, and I mean, let's just do it like this. On the rider, let's just put like six cans instead of 12. <laughs> Why not two no cans? Coke. No. Is it that going to your average, two you, cans? Yeah, so no, but you guys you will be said, hiding them. You said you had a two can average right now. Two and a half. What? Oh, now it's two and a half. <laughs> yeah, I cracked the third sometimes. <laughs> oh, all right. 
Because these guys, you know what they do to me on tour? They hide the coke from me. <laughs> like, you can't do that. You know what I mean? You got you to gotta hide the coke from the cokehead, bro. <laughs> I can see you, you You like them kids. You probably got a, like a six-pack in the hotel under the bed. <laughs> oh, I, oh, that's uh, G.O. <laughs> At one point, I would like, when we would leave and leave in the dressing rooms and stuff, I would just do the full-blown raid and grab like three cokes for the hotel room. You know what I mean? I was stocked up. Two Listen, meetings. angelical eyes. Um <laughs> <laughs> oh, this guy too. Okay, <laughs> you got it. You got you got to crack it down to two, man. There's uh, no two and a half. So. Uh, <laughs> two cans of coke on the rider, moving forward backstage your in new, the dressing room. Your new name is Angelo. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Angelo. oh shit, Trace Angelo. <laughs> You know, Les, I expect that, that out of these guys. But I thought we were good, Les. You know, come on, man. The man of ne many names. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, check this out. If you ain't knowing, uh, check out the mix right after this. All right? Uh, we're going to pop it off on Be Real TV 2. If you don't know about it, the Dr. Green Thumb Mix Show on Be Real TV 2 right here on YouTube for all you uh, people watching on YouTube that don't like to go nowhere else. For everybody watching in, uh, lo watching and locking in on Twitch, be underscore real TV is the place. Stay locked in with us, and uh, you know we're gonna pop this mix off. And for everybody that's a member of the the home site www.bereal.tv, you get this show and the mix show, along with community features and exclusive content, and. Uh, some dope merch and salute to everybody that's been buying the merch we've been seeing more of it go and uh, we appreciate you thank you so much looks um, good yes looks good and we got some new stuff so i thought a thing that designed. would designed i yes. didn't mean to interrupt you but i thought it would be real cool when you were talking about the merch um on tour this this tour that's going around um with cypress hill if you're wearing merch from the show and we see you out there we're going to have a little uh, funky field tip for you as a gift out there. So if you wear your merch to the show, we got a little something for you. We got we, a little something, something. Yeah, when we see you out there, we got a little funky pack for you. Yes, no, indeed. No, no bootleg shirts either. No bootlegs, yes. Um, also, if you haven't smashed a like yet, please help us out and crack that bitch right now. Uh, smash the like. Hit the subscribe button and uh, crack the all notification bell. Get down with all the content we're dropping and share the show out to all your friends and tell them sh to share it out to their friends and tell them all to subscribe. Get down with the get down right here on Be Real TV and uh, the Dr. Green Thumb Show and the squad. All right. And with that, we're going to get into submissions. Let's pop it off. Time for the all right we got a we got a lot of good submissions today um first one of the day here we got this one sent in this lady reeling in a giant bluefin tuna by herself god damn what no way is that real that's insane whoa oh, that's do you know real. what that's worth a lot of money is whoa what, like 20 30 racks way more than that 50 couple hundred b oh shit she caught the king yeah look at that thing <laughs> that man. thing's a beast you want to go fish for bluefin tuna dude she landed the champ the champ she caught him bluefin too man like sushi like they would just pay fortunes for that yeah for sure she hit the jackpot and she had to reel that in is that the pole back there that's tied in that she reeled that thing in with congratulations to that strong ass woman man, man. yo good how, stuff how, how big that that fucking hook had to be though <laughs> yeah, that's you know a big, yes. it's and not no little fish hook and yeah. that's not a plastic wire i yeah. mean a uh, line that's yeah, like yeah, wire that's like, wire yeah, yeah cable cable yeah exactly dumbass tuna can't see it damn or ignores it because it's like big old chunk of something on there at once tuna fish son mm. 
All right. Tuna All right. We nice. got a, let's see, 81X saying, had a lazy Sunday dinner, uh, had some meatloaf with delicious buttery mashed potatoes and white rice with peas. Nice. Hardy. You guys like meatloaf? Sometimes. That I'll put ketchup on. Yeah. You could use ketchup on meatloaf. Yep. That's a hearty, hearty meal. Like it is a very hearty meal. Yeah. Mashed potatoes. The tighter. <laughs> want some tighters. <laughs> Go with them. He had taters and rice. Go with that loaf. Both of them with the meatloaf. Come on. Mama's meatloaf. You taking a nap after that. And meatloaf's way better the next day. <laughs> I think. My uh, brother sent me a picture of his freezer this past weekend. He's in there. He's got a, a quarter of a cow, half a hog, and some deer meat. Look at that. Damn. A country boy can survive. Your brother's stocked up, son. Did he... Did he hunt all that, or did the deer he, he hunted for sure? Yeah. Um, but the hog and cow, he just bought that off a farmer. Makes sense. I never had deer meat, but I'll try it. It's the, pretty good. Venison. Yeah, I've yeah. had it. It's bomb. It's a texture thing, also. It's a little. I don't want to say tougher than like a steak, but it's a little chewier. But it's got really nice flavor to it, mm. and it's really high in protein. That's the thing about it compared to like a cow. Yep, uh, I've yeah. had it as birria before. That was pretty good. I think Alien Jerky does a, a venison jerky, too. Interesting. Uh -huh. Probably. And we got Chev from the UK saying, yo, it's my birthday. I'm feeling healthy and strong at 45. I don't drink that much, but I got some Black Tears Dry Spice Cuban Rum. Oh, boy. Let's do it. Salute. Happy Salute. birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, man. Every season. Let's go. You a, sp you a fan of a spiced rum, Les? Spice? Spice rum? Not a fan, but I have some. See, like, wouldn't you put Coke with that? Oh, yeah. yeah. Like a Captain Coke type Absolutely. thing? Absolutely. Yeah. Or a ginger ale. Oh, now it's okay to put uh, drinking Coke. Or, or, a, or a Sprite. <laughs> hey, Coke and rum? Come on. Or a something. You know what I'm saying? Rum goes with almost every drink. Something. Can't go wrong with it. Down in Cuba, that's the staple, right? Is a, a rum and Coca-Cola? Pretty much. Yeah. With a splash of lime. Mm. Or lemon. Mm. And Chef saying he rolled a couple of joints for his birthday. He's got a uh, short fatty and one slim thug saying, rate my rolls. Uh, Ooh. Well, I could only rate the one with the glass tip in it. I don't think, think any yeah. of them have a glass oh tip. Oh, my God. No. No. <laughs> no. He is in the UK. Uh, I'll say this. The bottom one looks um, much more together. I guess, um, the the sort of uh, conish one here is less together. I don't normally rate paper tips, so I'd probably be giving the bottom like a f five, number five, and the top one like a three. Number three. What'd you say, Rolling Champ? I say you're about right, yeah. All right. It gets all crinkly right there at the and neck. And chances are it's half tobacco also, so maybe you might want to You it could cut be, that in half. There's that too. It could be. I mean, I can't see on the bottom one. The, the, the one on the top that's throwing me off, it's literally, okay, maybe, but it's almost like half of a filter. <laughs> this is, I mean, look, there's not a lot. Of, like, you should be way more weed. Why did you well, twist the end of that? Well, he wants a shorty and a, you know, one. Yeah, I mean, all right. I thought least, this one looked like a Virginia Slim. Yeah, two and a half. <laughs> yeah, he likes the long nipples. Yeah, he's he squeezed <laughs> he squeezed at a couple of points on the on the long thin one, and then like on the <laughs> the top one there was a, there's some rocky roads ahead. But <laughs> you're gonna you know you're gonna get high nonetheless. It's going you know. Well, the best thing about it all is that just practice makes perfect. Yeah, and it's gonna smoke great either way. So those will both burn like a champ, though. Exactly. Said and done. Headphones. And that's all you really want yeah, is basically. it to burn like a champ. But he asked to get, you know. Yeah, he did. You want to step into the competition world, it's 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 vicious. Yeah, well, it's <laughs> Careful, it's <laughs> vicious. Ask Pedro the champ. It's vicious, right? Yeah. Aton always trying to come for you. It's hard oh, to yeah. be the champ, huh? I tell him, dude, like, you can say what you want. You could, I don't, I don't care. That's just all lip service to the champ. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> The in-house champ. All right, here we go. We got a Chia saying, made some cheesy garlic bread for the family. Oh, the man. crust is golden and crunchy with the center being gooey and cheesy. Ooh. I'd show you more pictures, but me and the family already ate it all. 
<laughs> I don't blame you because it sounded great. That does look bomb. I could do it with not too much garlic. Yeah, too much garlic will have you blowing up the whole night, boy. I love garlic. Be, yeah, be, I, I love garlic day. too. I oh. gotta say, but the next day just but dehydrated or that night. No, oh. you got. If you drink a lot of water, you're fine. It's oh. just like what it might do to your stomach. Oh. It's a lot of acid built. Might not end well. <laughs> like that. We got a. Let's see. We got Pilly showing off a um, eclipse in Dallas, Texas. Yeah, they got. They got a good show. <laughs> Showtime. Does look like a pupil on an eye. Yeah, I'm trying to tell you. It's crazy. Like, I'm awake. We got Kansas City Bill saying, uh, this is this week's haul of some fire. I live in Missouri, and we got the Terps over here, he's saying. Fire. Uh, Shout to Missouri. Dark rainbow. Magnificent. Salute. Steakhouse. There, Missouri. Guava tart. Very funk. <laughs> Missouri. Tropical smoothie. Oh, there's more. Guava nice. tart. That sounds nice. Nice little assortment. Blue blockers. Gastro. Guava tart. Tropical spritzer. Lemon cake. Flame. You know, lemon and cake don't really go together. Lemon pie. They have that, right? Lemon meringue. Mm, I love yeah. lemon meringue. There is no lemon cake. Mm -mm. They make lemon cake. I've Do they? Yeah, no, I've tasted lemon cake, but I, I don't like it. Like, yeah, I'd yeah. rather have just white it's cake. Not, it's or not really a good flavor. Yeah, to me, like especially when you start adding like chocolate frosting, it just does, yeah. those two just don't go together uh -oh. to me. Sure that. I don't know. I don't know. I, I haven't had a good lemon cake yet. I like it on a cookie. On the cookie, it's fire. Lemon cookies are bomb. Oh, right there. That looks good. I don't know. I just no, I don't prefer them. Oh crap! I'd rather eat the cornbread. Send dog <laughs> would tear that up right there. He would. Oh no, man! His shit is an angel food cake. Yeah, but any of that textured cake right there, because sometimes they don't have the angel food. We're at the gas station, and he'll get that. Or, but that kind of cake. Oh man, he's that's his wheelhouse right there. <laughs> that looks good. Yeah, no, I just I don't prefer lemon cake, man. We got Lee saying, hope y'all are having a good day. Have you guys tried any of these lift ticket papers yet? Stay blessed. The infused rolling paper. We used to do like lift ticket rolling papers over here before. So, yeah, when they're done right, those are the shit. I'll have to try these when, when, when uh, I come across them, if I do. And are are they rated in like milligrams per paper or like how does that work? Yeah, I think so. Huh. I see these ones are they might just be terpene infused. Yeah, no, no I don't want I don't want those dead. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get high. Higher. Yeah, those are just flavor infused. We got CK Nug showing off the grow. Wow. Looks good, man. Nice. The ladies look good. Bamboo sticks coming in thick. Yeah, those got about another probably two weeks. Those are nice. Pretty. Starts. Damn. Man. That looks good. Very nice. Harp. Mm -hmm. I got to ask Trace, have you ever been to that uh, giant cannabis shop, Planet 13? Yeah. Yeah, I've seen a bunch of like Instagram videos. Is it pretty cool over there or is it just whatever? You know, whatever? It, it is, and, I, and I'm going to talk to B about it right now, you know, uh, oh boy. on camera. Um, last week at Planet 13, it's uh, Las Vegas' biggest dispensary. Um, I mean, this place is huge. Yeah, it, I've heard it's like a cannabis superstore. It I is. It's, I mean, it's the size of supermarkets. Right. Um they got stores within stores inside of it. They're opening up a, a, a lounge, a smoke lounge. They're going to be the first with a licensed smoke lounge in Las Vegas. Raw. Right. Which is dope and dope. Um, but, but, here comes uh, the but. 
doing business in Las Vegas, you know, and, and be you you already know being a, a, an owner operator of dispensaries, um, how this works. Um, Planet 13 is a publicly traded company, so you could buy stock in the company. Right. So those numbers are publicly, you know, you can look up those numbers and see what they're doing, their financials. Since they've opened and people just see this giant dispensary in Las Vegas and there's a lot of people in there and they think, oh, this place must be making, a, you know, an unbelievable amount of money. Truth be told... They lose $45,000 a day at that location. Mm. And in their first quarter so far this year, they've lost $4.5 million. Oh, my God. So, you know, being an owner operator, see people see those Planet 13s and those giant ones, and they think, oh, my God. But truth be told, man, it's a tough business to get into. By the time you pay, you know, the rent there in Las Vegas, all that staff and, you know, insurances and things like that, it's wow. tough to do business out there. I'm sure. I'm sure there's a lot of women over there too. You know? Oh well, I mean, come on. It's if you're there, yeah. It's, uh, it's Vegas. <laughs> it's Vegas. It's Vegas. Well, I don't know. It, it, it's it's a tough it's a tough business. But Planet Thirteen is definitely it's it's a dope dispensary. Hit it if you're ever out there. Give them some love. So what is it that they don't get enough uh, traffic going through there? No, it's it's the cost of doing business. What they're saying is uh, the time you pay employees. Um, rent for the facility, like you said, it's a superstore. I mean, and their location is literally across from the Wynn and the Trump. I mean, it's it's boardwalk, and they're literally <laughs> to even put it even crazier. They're right next door to the biggest strip club in Las Vegas, the Spearmint Rhino. So the, the property there, that you know, for rent to do business is just uh, it's astronomical. So th their margins are real small there. That's what I'm getting at. It's like you know, it, their whole thing works on volume. They need to get a million people through the door to make this profitable. And they're not, and, and as of not not, not right now. Hmm. Yeah, first quarter they're they're down, you know, four and a half million. A lot. So yeah. Vegas is legal right now, right? Yes, sir. Oh, yes, good. sir. Yeah. I wonder what's the. I mean, I know that they're the biggest in terms of uh, size, right? Yes. Um, they're definitely the largest. Print. They're the biggest, but who is the most lucrative? Like, who is doing the sales in Vegas in terms of? There's smaller ones out there, like Thrive and stuff like that. Right. You know, smaller, like, you know, in the strip malls and stuff like that. Yeah. They, you know, they do really well. But it's probably because a big-ass store like that yeah. is kind of overwhelming, and it's, it's like, stretching. I mean, B, you pull into this, to this dispensary, and there's a giant, like, world globe. I mean, it looks like you're pulling into, like, some, you know, giant casino. I mean, this isn't just pulling up... I mean, look at this. Yeah, yeah. You should see it at night. It, at night, it looks like a whole different thing. It's, it's, it, it's unbelievable. They got the drone deal going here, and that's only in Vegas. Planet Little Earth. mini yeah. drone. Yeah. So they're going with the whole um, Area Fifty One for sure plot and the whole space yeah. thing out there. That's yeah. cool. That's cool. Yeah. What looks cool? What they're building out that I'm seeing is the, the. What's it called? The UFO Hotel? Oh, wow. This is the dispensary in there? Yeah. How do you choose anything? There's just so much. <laughs> it's, that's why I said it's like on. stores within stores. In there. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's, it's overwhelming is what it is. Yeah. A lot. It's cool. It is a lot. Look at that. I'm going to have to go check it out. I've, you know, out of all the times we've been out there, I have not visited this place once. I'll have to go. And it's 24-7. Check it out. That's the cool. That's the cool thing about the dispensaries in, in Vegas. Twenty four seven. Twenty four seven. One of our missions in the year on the Mamba of the Mamba is we gonna have to go check out. Okay. Planet. Let's go. Thirteenth, son. Let's go. I'll put it together. And and uh, what Pedro said, yeah, they are working on that UFO hotel over there. Um, by Alien Fresh. By Alien Fresh, yeah. It looked pretty that's crazy cool. when we saw it last. All right, next one. Next in here, we got Jason saying, uh, just had a nice weekend hanging at the lagoon. Yeah. Lagoon. He's all the way in Alabama. Oh, all right. Wow. He's up in Alabama. the Bama. Bama. He's in the Bama. That's dope. Is a lagoon and like a lake the same thing? Just smaller? Um, I don't know by definition if that, you know, I think, isn't a lagoon connected to an, a, a, a an ocean or and a giant yeah thing of water it's yeah like an inlet yeah off of it's an a, inlet right, right. yeah ah. and a lake is just you know like a, a lake giant. is isolated right away for interesting uh. yeah yeah lagoons are found in more like marine environments yeah coastal regions 
Them gators. 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 We got Jason again showing off a nice little tree frog down here in the Bama. Oh, wow. Saying he loves hanging out in nature. Lick the toad. <laughs> toad licker. Probably not that one. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen that. You see, like, now that you're pointing out, like, say, frogs and all this uh, out of state, I was seeing on YouTube this um, this person that hunts, right, out in, like, Alabama or somewhere out there, and they hunt for pigeons. And then after oh, they yeah. them, they eat them. They eat the pigeon. They oh, eat shit. pigeon, bro, the pigeon breast. Oh, like, no way they do this. Yeah. Yeah, no, I've, I've seen them eat pigeon. It's like eating quail, and it's kind of like a delicacy. That's yeah. crazy. These I mean, dudes I'm, were eating it for sport. I'm pretty sure you ate pigeon sometime in your lifetime. I wouldn't doubt it being getting some Chinese food down here. Yeah. Tastes nice. like chicken. Yeah. Yeah. But <laughs> it was it was crazy. Like I cause being seeing them here everywhere, you look at those well, I look look at those are like rats, the rats of, Straight of up. birds. Like bent yeah. wings and one leg. Yeah, and you see them, they're just hunting them and eating them. I'm like, wow. Pitch, what a, what pigeon fried different. rice. Yeah. Back in the pigeon day day. This this is a true <laughs> story. Back in the day day, like I know the restaurant, but I'm not even gonna say the name. Back in the day day. Um, this restaurant in San Francisco got busted. They had pigeon traps up on the roof. <clears throat> Fact. Yeah. Fact. And they got closed down. Pigeon, they were pigeon. trapping pigeons up on the roof. <laughs> <laughs> like, pigeon breast. Oh, right. man. Foul. All right. We got Red E saying, Yo, B, I hit up your new dispensary the other day on 8 Mile. We got high as hell, and uh, me and my boo got the VIP tickets to see you at the show. Right now. Sick. Salute. We'll be up out that way very soon. April 22nd, to be exact, yeah. Yep. And next up in here, we got Kato Cut, and he's showing off his grow, saying outdoor white widow. Nice. Uh, Not widow. every day you see some white widow. It's been a minute. Uh, white widow. Nice. He's saying, I should have done a wet trim on these wet buds, but ended up doing a dry trim. That's all right. You do it next time, man. Isn't always good doing a dry trim? Yeah. But if you want to experiment. Cool. It's one of those things, you know, if you talk to a, a chef, you know, for a chocolate chip cookie recipe, you're going to get 10 different recipes. For a chocolate chip, you talk to a chef. Yeah, a chef. But how about a baker? Okay, there you go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Tech, okay, Mr. Tech, a baker. I'm about to say, chef sounds too too experienced for yeah, a cookie. Yeah, for a chocolate chip cookie. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Wolfgang. Can you imagine asking what's his Ramsey? Hey, Ramsey. <laughs> oh, he'd, he'd flip out. <laughs> this tastes like that. shit. <laughs> Can I get your chocolate chip cookie recipe, Chef Ramsey? You know what this is? It's shit. <laughs> <laughs> he loses his mind. It's the worst thing I've tasted. This yeah. is shite. Right. Okay, this is funny. We got Grant. Remember last week where he showed his cat being in the toilet? Yeah. Again? <laughs> no, he's saying, I taught Daisy to use the sink now instead oh. of the toilet. Oh, God. Uh -huh. That's disgusting. That's just as bad. That's worse. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yo. I you see put a cat on my there. sink. I'm slapping the shit out of it. <laughs> Come on, Grant. Less, less. The Easy with the cat. Better. You know what happened last time with I'm the saying, cat? A cat, a cat don't belong up there, B. The cat you gotta slap the shit out of it. Hey, like, the cat uh, people push came for him last time. <laughs> in the, in the DMZ. The cat <laughs> people came for less. Cat people came for him. Uh. Less. You know, last week I was in the studio with my boy and Big Twins in, in, in some apartment. It was a dope studio. And I, after being there for like 10, 15 minutes, I see two fat cats coming down the hallway, like all slow looking <laughs> at me. And then they trying to jump on the couch. And you know, I had to, I had to be like, what the fuck? <laughs> fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. Oh, man. <laughs> nice. Nice. Two Garfields. Yeah, two Garfields. <laughs> <laughs> two of them. Not one, but two. Yeah, That's yeah be it. careful with the cat community. They're dangerous. Oh, I'm telling you. Yeah. Hey, dude, they decide to slap back, bro. It's going to be fucking... <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, the fucking cats. Yeah, yeah. They're pretty savage when they attack people. Oh, yeah, when they want to scratch the shit out of you, boy, and they'll do it. 
<laughs> All right. We got Flo showing off the Ann Arbor Hash Bash 2024 from the steps of the University of Michigan's library. How about that? That Ooh. sounds dope. Hash Look Bash. Hash Bash. You want some hash? <laughs> Come to the bash. Come to the bash. That's cool. They're doing it at the college. Yeah, right? Yeah. That part. Monumental. Good stuff. It's a celebration. The whole state of Michigan is kind of, you know, turning, you know, definitely uh, getting with the culture. Well, they've always been with the culture. It's just, you know, they're start just, you know, it's opened up more, you right. know, uh, since legalization. Yeah. The now politics. they're celebrating, you know. Yeah. Before they were rallying for, now they're celebrating for. Dope. All right. We got Mr. Argo. He's saying, yo, guys, I found Sasquatch. Hey. <laughs> Back of the tailgate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't believe people still believe in Bigfoot. Like, the fuck out of you don't think there's yeah, a people want to believe in you know a lot of stuff. Come on, B. You know what I'm saying? No, I know that, but there's. I know you, but this guy. Like, you believe, I know you, you don't believe, believe in, in Bigfoot. Nah. I can't say I do or don't. Who knows? You might see, uh, you know, Bigfoot, dude. I mean, I, ha I have been to the woods, though, like even during daytime. And just like I, w I was like, <laughs> we, we were at Lake Arrowhead or something. And we were like, I was like, oh, let me just go take a smoke down the uh, this smoke down the, the street. Right. Like down by the woods. It gets quiet, dude. And it's, it could get pretty fucking like. Oh, yeah. Like, yo, what if a bear just pops out on me? Like, you, you might never know what, saying, what you his, see out there. His name is Bigfoot. That means he's he's big. And, and you could never see him? Come on, B. Think about it. He must be, like, lightning fast then. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like <laughs> he moves. <laughs> He's hibernating, bro. You only Come see on, him every now and then. He's so man. big, but you could never <laughs> see him. He rocks through portals. I was Slim Jim, dude. <laughs> yeah, He'll show exactly. up. He disappears when you see when, when people come. It's Jack's. Oh, well, no, wait. Is it Jack Slinks or Who's Slim Slinks? Jim? The the one that uses the Bigfoot for the commercial. No, oh. yeah, Jax, right? Yeah. All right. Messing with Sasquatch. But there's, you know, there's those believers. They'll go hard at that shit, and they'll get yeah. mad at me too, because it's like <laughs> they'll go try to find it. <laughs> All right, Les, you've already pissed off the cat people. Now, the, people. now the Sasquatch, the Sasquatch people. people. Yeah, go on, right on, Les. Still, at earlier. least you know the cats exist, right there. <laughs> <laughs> still got a half hour left in the show. <laughs> Let's see who else will get pissed off. <laughs> I seen him. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'll take it to him right now. <laughs> All right. All right. We got a uh, Mike the Ripper saying. So I got this little eighth from a dispensary near me. It was from the growers. It was from their grower circle. It's supposed nice. to be top shelf. Smelled good. Tastes pretty good. A little powdery though. He's saying. Um, what do you guys think? Based off its look, this cost me fifty dollars. Do you guys think it's worth it? L A Cake Kush, twenty nine percent. Looks good. Look pretty Very good. Nice. Kush cake's been a good genetic from what I've tasted it. Yeah, if it if it powdered up, it's because it's a little dry. But this looks pretty good. I would just say that moving further, if you haven't smoked all this weed yet, don't grind it too hard or heavy. Yeah, that's something you don't want to turn to talcum powder. Yeah, so it doesn't get powdery. You just you know, quick grind, little quick rough grind. And it shouldn't powder out so much. And we got Pon um, all the way from New Zealand showing off some local art. That's or Depp. Emmer, em, Emmerich. Graffiti. Emmerich. This is some nice letters, my. Mm -hmm. Rome, cool. Romeo. Romeo. We got Midget Mike showing off some insane. That's pretty cool. Very, um. A lot of bandana. Yeah, a lot of blue bandanas right there. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, here you go. <laughs> Made sure you flip it. <laughs> we have one for everyone. <laughs> Get a pink one. You want red? We got red. We want red. <laughs> it has red too. What does it say down there in the corner? Did your mic. Did your mic insane. Insane, insane content. content. <laughs> It's pretty insane, man. Hey. Personalized afro. 
Is this all the AI stuff that's been happening? Yep. Yeah. Is that what's going on here? What do you think of that, Trace, the AI art? I mean, it's like anything else. There's going to be positive and negatives, just how you use it. Yeah, yo. They said the same thing about the internet, you know? It's how you use it. It's how you use it. Yep. We got Balls Mahoney showing out the uh, SpaceX launch all the way from Picacho Peak in Arizona. Picacho. 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 Oh, wow. That's what you see from over there. That's crazy. I remember we saw that outside of, uh, yeah, to think that they could see it, too. It's crazy. It's a giant sperm across the sky. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who's your daddy? daddy? Elon Musk. <laughs> what if Elon Musk designed it to look like that? I wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> Get out of the I way. want it to disperse out like as if it is sperm. <laughs> A sperm. <laughs> Get out of the way. <laughs> Going up. Let's make it look like to one. the ute. <laughs> make it look like one giant. <laughs> oh, man. Mm. What if? What if? <laughs> All right. And uh, the last one so far, we got Hector showing off um, some uh, funky chillums, taking him to the head, he's saying. Nice. Word. Pack it in. Those little one hitters are dope. Pack it up, pack it in. That part. Yeah, I love these little things. They're so easy to clean too. And, and you know, don't we don't do those a lot. So when those come on sale, those are kind of like a rare thing. Those don't get done in a lot of volume. So the collectors gobble those up right there. Those are the ones right there. True that. You want to get those. Those are done in limited production when those drop. Literally. Limited. What's happening? It's your boy AD, man, right here at the Dr. Green Thumb Show, the highest motherfucking show in the world. You better believe that shit. What up, y'all? You know who it is. It's your man, Free Ricky Ross. Yo, what's up? Pseudo Zane, AK Diego. What's up? It's Banker Hayden. I'm at Be Real TV. Yo, what up, everyone? It's Brian T. City. Shout out to Be Real TV. Thanks for having us. Shout out to Be Real TV. It's first smoke of the day. Pack Odds Blackleaf. We're here at Be Real TV. About to roll up. It was cracking this home with Little Rob right here on the Dr. Green Thumb Show, the highest show in the world, homeboy. We're heard. Yeah, yeah. It is the highest show in the world. I'm hot right now. I'll tell you that right now. Yeah, I'm twisted too. Yeah, when I'm smoking, it's pretty good. Yeah. I don't know what it is, but it's just fire. When yeah, I, man. I, I think a little in, bit of the champan got me too, man. Hey, do, pour me a little swig. Yeah, yeah. Little swigsies, brah. When I came in today, B tossed me a dub, and it, man, I don't know what we're smoking. That, that OG today. you gave me earlier was really good. Thank you. Thank you. I yeah. must say. A yeah. lot of flavors. Yeah. Every once in a while when, you know, the OG is right. Real OG. Nothing like it. Yeah. Hey, can I ask y'all a question out there? Why y'all holding, up, holding out on the likes? Smash it right now, damn it. We asked you earlier. Come on, help us out. <sighs> Nonetheless, we're going to open up the doors to the insane asylum. That means, y'all, you got a comment, question, shout out, suggestion. We are here for you. Welcome to the Insane Asylum. All right, let's do this. We got Adam saying, yo, B, Golden State versus Lakers tonight. What do you think? Lakers. Oh, really? Oh, oh, oh you're here. Sorry. Oh, I forgot. Uh, Lakers. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Should we put a little wager on this one? All right. Hey, let's uh, do, we'll just do lunch out on tour. Lunch. Okay, well, nice one. it's got to be more interesting than that. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. They have oh. a pretty close record. See, what he just did it right there. It is a very Pedro, close record. He it just is. called my little bluff right there is what he just did. No, it's got to be a little more interesting than that. Be, All right, how interesting? Like, B wants some money. He don't want no money. No, <laughs> no, no dogs and shit. Tra Trace, <laughs> Trace's money is no good to me. Yeah, um, see, he does other things to me that are way better than money for him. I want those two Cokes. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> okay. So, okay. So, what do you want? Okay. So, okay. Not we'll we'll figure out what the wager up on the two the two cokes are, right. and uh, we'll revisit this. All right. Next. <laughs> People in the chat earlier were saying Trey should get a Coke bike. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Right. Look that that would be part of it. Like, okay, if if they lose, you gotta do no cokes for a week while riding this bike. Oh yeah. 
You you should have a Coke machine in your house. This is this be your reminder. <laughs> this bike will be your reminder that you're not supposed to drink Coke a for a week. Yeah. You're riding it through the neighborhood. Is everybody having fun with this? Yeah, I am. <laughs> I mean, I, can you picture me on that fucking bike yes, right there? I, like I, totally. I agree with Les. You should have like a Coke machine, and you should set the price to like ten bucks. <laughs> uh, yeah, to every, like, every to be yeah. like, oh fuck, is it worth it? I like that, Pedro, <laughs> in a in a weird way, because then if I actually bought one, I'd still be getting the money. Because it's yeah. my machine. Yeah. To that. I like how you're thinking. And I'm pretty sure you're going to know the trick. Bang, you bang it. and psh, You guys. would have to understand how ridiculous you are. To <laughs> oh, let me get it. That's I got the key. Ah, but not for nothing. Those nah, coke. someone should take the key from you. Yeah. Someone oh, should be like. Oh, my God. Those Coke machines are worth money. Tell you what. I'll tell you. I'll make one better than, than Pedro. Take his machine idea, right? But you don't get the key and the ten dollars got to go to a donation. Oh, you don't you get go. that money back. Oh, yeah. You want a coke? Ten dollars. It goes to cycle. And less. it goes to a <laughs> donation. To less. If you if you break yourself. <laughs> not bad. Not bad. That's a good one. Huh? That's a good add-on right there. If huh? you really want the coke, you will get the coke. You just be at an overinflated price. Yeah, I see how it works, Pedro. Thanks. <laughs> Ca cash at me That'd probably be a part of my bet right there Well uh, <sighs> Coke machine You're gonna put a coke machine and add $10 Right at your front door So when you at walk out At the front door of my house? Yeah <laughs> Hey how about how about Dougie um, You remember Dougie Yeah His brother Russ <laughs> at, the, at the poor kid's mansion as they call it It's a big house It's not necessarily a mansion But they would call it the poor kid's mansion they had a soda machine out front with <laughs> sodas and beers in it. And whoever came, they were, they, there was no key allowed them. They had to pay for that beer <laughs> or that soda that they were buying in Hell that machine yeah. in the house. Yeah. Hell yeah. You know who else did that? <laughs> you guys are cleaning it up on that shit. <laughs> Snoop Dogg did it too in his studio. Same thing. He got tired of dudes raiding. He had like his fridge, you know, set up with whatever his little munchies and stuff, and he got tired of everybody. He literally got a vending machine outside in the hallway now with drinks in it and snacks, whatever you want. It's out there. It's the and ultimate hall monitor. And you right ready there. for this? Then he said the problem was that the excuse was that no one had change and that guy. He hung a change machine on the wall. Oh, so, wow. yeah. No excuse. Yeah, no. no excuse. No excuse. <laughs> Five dollar soda. Yeah, straight up. I get it. <laughs> you know who raids my fridge is Sen. Sen comes over and like I'm not a big beer drinker less, but I will keep a six pack of Coronas for like taco night. I'll drink a soda. He'll come crack your Coronas, man. He will crack your sodas. He ain't gonna drink your water. Nope. He's not gonna have none of your juices. Pilfered the Coronas. Pilfered. <laughs> I'm gonna pull up one day. You know you. <laughs> have some coronas for me. On deck, Les. He's back on that, huh? <laughs> nah, nah, yeah, well, no. See, on taco night. On taco night. Taco night. Uh, well, okay. Taco night. So you I, can get away I, with yeah, it. Taco nights. Not bad. You when get it, a pass. When is taco night? Yeah. Tuesday. Tuesday nights. Yeah. Taco, taco. Taco nights every week, though. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> That's a I fact. Tacos on No. Tacos it's not Saturday. like it's a once a month thing. It happens every Tuesday night. It's a big all thing right. in New York too. Taco Tuesdays, restaurants and all that. They got yeah. things blowing. Man. Word up! All right, what else you got? A uh, big shout to Sarah. She's also saying, "Be real TV. Good luck to all the fifty one fifties." Hashtag Be Real TV. Cool. Salute. Mm -hmm. And we got the Pope asking B, "What is your usual exercise routine?" Well. I change it up from from uh, routine to routine, but when I was getting my shit back together, I was doing like maybe five miles on the treadmill, um, trying to run it within an hour, and then the next would be like you know light weights, but more like to to work cardio and core and stuff like that. Nothing heavy, so I still kind of do that, like change it up, do different shit, um. Yeah, a lot of jump rope, uh, just a little bit of everything. I try to mix it up. I don't lift heavy weights anymore. I haven't in a long time. So smoke some weed while you're working out. Sometimes I'll smoke beforehand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
That's not bad. Though. Most of the time I'll smoke after, but like every now and then I'll have something before. It was when I was going to gyms and I was smoking um, that it would be a distraction because it'd come in smelling like weed and then every motherfucking weed head in the gym wanted to like, hey, man, well, let's go get a session. <laughs> like, working out, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> At least that's the after. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> so like for a minute, like when I was still going to the gyms, I wouldn't like smoke before so that no one would get the indication and be like, oh, who smells like that, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and then like connect the dots, right? Um, but that didn't work because, you know, they see me, they're expecting that I'm smoking right there on the goddamn treadmill or something. You know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> Got a roll tray on. I'm going to be jogging hard with a joint in my mouth puffing. No. Um, <laughs> Pull it out your sleeve. like. So So I stopped doing the shit, like, you know, smoking before the gym so to not be distracting, but... Um, that didn't always work, but I got used to doing that. So when I started working out at home, I didn't necessarily smoke before I got high. I would just sort of get to the work because if I smoked, that's going to take an extra 15, 20 minutes because I'm not, for me, I'm not just going to take one or two puffs to go. I'm going to smoke the fucking joint, yeah. which it would probably be easier if I just took the two, three hits and then go because it would be the same effect. But yeah, nah, now and then I will, but... Not, but not often. Most of the time, I'll do the work first. <laughs> Smoke. All right. Um, all right. Next in here, let's see. I think we got uh, we got Mad Way saying salute to the table, Leezy and B, and all the 5150s. Okay. Word up, salute. Oh. Cheers. And we got Angel Medizzi saying, hope y'all can help me out with my submission. And he's saying, uh, yo, I'm in a bit of a predicament and need your guys' help. I bought tickets to this weekend's Woody Show party and haven't told the wife. Oh. Can you guys act like I just won a pair of tickets so I can snip the video clip and act like I won? Ah. Mind you, she's three months pregnant and don't ah. think she'll want to go. Oh. But I need this to make it look like I have no choice but to party with the crew. <laughs> wow. ah. What's his name? Angel Medizzi. What what if someone puts her on to the show? It's, it, <laughs> yeah, then we're all liars just now. Get, yeah. You're going to get us get, all in trouble. You just gave yourself away, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just snip Should it at least. You want us to congratulate you like you won tickets? Yo, Angel, show to you. And Yo, your Angel, life. salute to you. You just won <laughs> tickets. You're the winner. To the show, son. Caller 102. All right. <laughs> Big winner, Angel. Happy yeah. 420. Have fun. Happy 420, man. You and the lady. <laughs> and, con and congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> I don't think that's going to work. Was that, a, was, was that good? Yeah, that yeah. was good. They, they could clip that they part. Clip that yeah, part. Whatever yeah. happens after, happens after. <laughs> Look, babe, I told you I won. <laughs> <laughs> should be nice and edited up. Nice. That's, that's awesome. <laughs> Oh shit! She better not be watching this show yeah. too somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> Busted. That's hilarious. Busted. That was out of a lot of the things that we've been, you know, that that people have said here. That was one of the most interesting. <laughs> right? For yeah, sure. Say. Yeah. All right. <laughs> a little help. A little help. <laughs> we got M. Kush G saying, "Yo, I'll see you guys on the fourth. Much love." Salute. Hell yeah. And next in here, let's see. We got Mary Hell twenty three just saying, uh, always good to see Trace on the show. Much love. I right, love coming in here. This is a lot of fun. Hell yeah. We got Utah Hawk saying, uh, the beat nut the beat nuts need to hit up Utah Leezy. Utah? Uh, beat nuts. Yeah, we will. The beat nicks. <laughs> <laughs> the beat nits. Remember he couldn't say donut donuts donut. last week. It was donuts today. Donuts. This week beat it's nits. the beat nits. The beat nits. <laughs> Feet nuts. That's how we say donuts up north. Donuts. All right, uh, sure. <laughs> and we got nits. we got Juicy Jewel saying happy birthday month to Lazy and yep. thanks for the awesome dance party the other night. No doubt. Thank you Bye, for for coming on. through and partying and, and cheers. Salute, salute, salute this. We got Kelly Blaze saying in New York City it's bacon, egg, cheese, salt, pepper, and ketchup. Hmm. Come on, B. You know how we do. I'm right. with that. That's not that's not bad. No. Nope. And we got Space City Cannabis asking if y'all mess with Whataburger and do you like their spicy ketchup? 
I have not tried Whataburger, but I'm going to the next time I'm in Texas. Yeah, I wanted to try it, but the only time I was presented to try it was at breakfast. So I was like, do I want Whataburger for breakfast? No, you don't. Yeah, I was like, no. We got one out in Vegas. I, I mean, I, this not, is, you got to have it in Texas. You can't have yeah. it in Vegas. And yeah. Change it. Come on. You guys true. are secondary market for true, that true. shit. True, true. Because I... To put it in perspective, though, like that whole that whole kind of burger. I mean, once again, man, I would just rather In and Out burger it. I'll be honest. A lot, a lot of people would agree. Uh, Shit it out burgers. <laughs> but I'm gonna try it before I like you know like judge without having it. True. Give them a chance. Yeah. Jeez. We got the Reiki Rabbit saying, "I love L.A. Thank you guys for an awesome visit. Um, it was such an honor to meet and chill with y'all. See you again soon." Salute. And uh, we got Chris up in here saying, hey, be real. Virginia is still crying for your help. Our bud is straight awful. Oh, man. It always takes time um, for good genetics to get to a place and someone to how to, uh, you know, like wrap their head around how you actually produce it to where it flourishes and, and you get like flower out there like we have out here and, and other places now it took a minute for these other places to get knowledge and for that knowledge to spread to other cultivators and stuff like that now you see everywhere there's a lot of great cultivators so it's just a matter of time before y'all get there just keep pushing and we got crazy Maine asking tracy eddie will the usa win gold <laughs> medal in break dancing for this summer's come Olympics? on tracy eddie tell us <laughs> Um, I, I mean, I'm hoping, of course. You know what I'm saying? Let's go, USA. Come on, man, for sure. No, you should do a commercial. The weed is insane. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, is this? Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Yeah, but I think that's gonna be a dope event. True that. You're gonna see some like phenomenal. <laughs> They're I gonna wait. Man. They're gonna break out the shit for that's sure. Be fire. All right. We got a, let's see, Kelly Green Eyes um, asking, hey, Cycle Les, what's your favorite food spots in New York? I'll be there in May, and happy birthday. Oh, man. There's a few spots, though. You could try out the Red Tiger. and You know, they got some good Korean Korean food. Um, there's some good spots in Queens, like uh, Peruvian. There's Peruvian uh, Chinese food, it's, you know. Long Island City, man. Go there. Steinway. It's a big strip of, of foods. Definitely. Nice empanada spots if you like empanadas. We got Psycho Beta Beatdown. Thank you so much for the super chat. And we got the real Cuban B saying beats and beers was a dope vibe on Friday. Good looks, man. Yeah, it was a good vibe, man. You know, we was rocking the big room. Shout out Killer Priest for coming through. He had a blast. Man. Yeah, it was dope. And we got a dad in the cloud saying, Mr. Pibb is the best soda. Also, ocean spray cranberry grape uh, mixed with a sugar-free Red Bull on the rocks is fire. Ocean spray. What, what, did he, what was the first comment? Mr. Pibb is the best soda. That is pretty good. nasty. Yeah. It's pretty root good. beer, right? It's fake Dr. Pepper. Is that considered root beer? You know, no. Doc, mid it's like Midwesterners prefer that. It's foul. Because they don't, you know. <laughs> like fake. Fugazi. Brother, uh, uh. It's fake deep, it's Now fake you're riding deep. for Dr. Pepper. How's Coke going to feel? How is Coke going to feel when yeah. you're just wishy-washy with the love, dog? Why Why does this just have to turn into, like... Yo, let me ask you. what? What's the fakest soda you ever had? Like cola or something? Like Like, like, like the, mellowed yellow or some corny, like... No, nah, it's like when the back in the day, the, like, the fake, like... Coke would you would you RC, say what was it? The, no, oh, it just say uh, Cragmont like cola, cola, yeah, cola. Yeah. You know what I mean? It was generic. It was Bammer. Generic soda. Bammer. That's funny. Bammer. The cola, cola. Let me get a cola. RC cola. That was like the grape. <laughs> RC cola. They stopped making the grape because like the the dye in it was just like you know killing kids. They're tr so trying to bite Coke right here. Cola, cola, cola. soda. Shasta, no thank you. Damn, Sam's. <laughs> Got the yeah. RC. Yeah, RC was classic. Coca-Cola. They disappeared, right? No, they're still around. Royal Cola. Oh, that's what it stands for? I don't know. I Royal Crown. Royal Crown. Oh. Yeah, there you go. 
<laughs> Trace would know. But <laughs> 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 right, Colton, I'll see you. <laughs> I'll see you. <laughs> <laughs> the show's over in a few minutes. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna Corey. be speaking to your nephew. Yeah. Huh? All right. <laughs> Cola tribute. Forget it. Cola tribute. <laughs> you gonna win. All right. Bust it. Shout to uh, Jonathan and shout to Bosco Drummer. Thank you guys so much for your super chat. <laughs> and we got Hood Hippie saying, happy first day to your B-Day cycle, Les. Yo, shout to the crew. Thank you, man. And he's saying, uh, overspray art supply and gallery in downtown Pomona. Invite y'all to their grand opening this Saturday alongside uh, the Pomona Art Walk. Have a blessed day. Cool. Cheers. Oh, no. Cheers. <laughs> we got Midget Mike saying, Pedro, you can ride on my pegs on the next bike ride. Ha. No. <laughs> Pardon me? <laughs> Excuse yeah. me? Yeah. That's, uh, you should have said no diddy after that. Right? <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> and we got Adam saying, uh, yo, New Balance are the shoes you can do anything in. I love those. Backflips. True. Yeah. New Balance always had n- nice colors and flavors, man. Don't sleep on New Balance. You ain't fresh. <laughs> you ain't fresh. You ain't fresh. You ain't fresh. That's an old UTFO song. What you mean I ain't fresh? You ain't fresh. <laughs> we got Hybrid Cypher saying, yo, B, Money yeah. B was great yesterday. Oh, yeah, we got way back, man. He got mad stories because, you know, Digital Underground, they did a lot of shit. And, uh, man, it was good to have him up here. We'll have him back. We got Fernando saying, appreciate you guys. I'm chilling with my dog Biscuit right now, doing some bong hits, watching the birds in the birdhouse, and tuning into the highest show in the world. Biscuits. Cheers. Salud. It's funny how you have pets that, that are like fellow stoners, like, and some just want no part of it, but then there's, you know, everyone, like, I have friends with dogs. They love hanging out when, when the session's going on. Like, they'll pull up. What about your dog, B? Is he like a, does he pull up when you're, when you're token? Does he hang oh, yeah. out with you? Oh, yeah, for sure. When he wants to get high, yeah, he'll come sort of give me the indicator, right? But when he doesn't want it, he'll stay away. Wow. All right. What about you, Pedro? You, I, I I see you with the dog. She don't like to smoke. No. She does like to smoke? No, doesn't. Does not. I okay. blow it to her, and she just, like, looks at it like a ghost, and she just yeah, she that's backs cool. off. I had a cat that, that loved to smoke. Like, you would just blow up the cat's face. And I'm, I'm not saying, you know, that. that <laughs> oh, here come the DMs. Cat abuse. Oh, you know what I mean? But they come. The cat, like, if the cat was cool, cat was hanging oh, out. You know what I mean? He'd have a little friskies. You know what I'm saying? He was good. You know what I mean? Cat was hanging out. Cat people like to smoke. <laughs> Look, oh, wow. <laughs> he got a little dube in his hand. Look. Oh, man. But yeah, every time I want my, calm, my dog to calm down, I just blow smoke to her too, and she'll come down. Chill so her she out. don't like it, but that'll chill her out. And I don't know if the smell like affects them like the same way if she inhales, because I guess their shit's so sensitive. But I would assume, yeah, because she she just stops right after that. I don't even call my dog over. He comes over. Like <laughs> I'll just be like lighting it, and then he'll just come up and sit there in front of me and look at me like, "What about me?" So does he know your routine? Like, oh you know- yeah, he see it like. He's seeing that I'm sparking up. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's where I was I going. I mean, like, there's times where he'll see that he he ain't you, coming towards do, me. Do you blow it in his direction? When he, uh, again, when he comes <laughs> up and he's, like, waiting there for it. Because like, I'll have taken him <laughs> out to do his business and all that shit. And I'll be about to blaze it. He'll just be sitting there in front of me. And then he'll come pause up. <laughs> and I already know what that means because there's nothing left. I've already, like, <laughs> you know, thinking about there's nothing more, right? And he'll wait for that hit. He'll take that hit, and then he'll go chill out. Chill out. Nice. When he doesn't want it, he won't come to me. But, like, he, every time I'm blazing up, he, wants- he knows what the sound is. He knows what the smell is. He knows what it is. <laughs> So if he wants some, he'll come to it. That's cool. He, he probably gets the munchies too, right? Yeah. He might get thirsty. Yeah. Go drink drink up the water and shit, but he doesn't <laughs> necessarily get hungry. Dogs can eat all the time. They don't necessarily got to be hungry. Shit. You, yeah. you feed them, they'll eat it. <laughs> all right. 
All right, uh, let's see if we got um Grimace up in here showing um he's saying uh can we get a moment of ohms? Hmm. Need some ohms right now. An right. Ohms moment, he's saying. All right. <sighs> Chill out, man. Oh. 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 Those were very light ohms, Trace. Barely. I was going to say, I think Trace was faking it. I was going deep. That was me. Uh, You were not. I was was looking at Trace. He looked like he was. That was me. (laughs) Who do you think was doing that deep? That was me. That was not you. That (laughs) was me. (laughs) All right, watch. Okay, watch. Let me hear one now. All right. Um, No. Don't even try it. (laughs) (laughs) All right, next. (laughs) Shout out to DJ Paws. Thank you guys so much for the super chat. (laughs) <laughs> Thank you very much. Like, oh, I was a little off. <laughs> Easy, Barry White. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man. Tracy White. <laughs> Tracy White. <laughs> Tracy White. Okay. How Bar- about, is this show almost over? We got about another five minutes. Left. <laughs> Barry's grandchild. <laughs> Unknown oh. child. Long. We got Utah Hawk saying, Trace, I will bring a 12-pack to the Salt Lake show and put it in a secret cooler just for you. It's been great seeing everybody. <laughs> Thanks pack, for hanging uh. out today. That's it. That's it. Oh, my God. <laughs> and we got Laguna Beach, uh, 1,000% saying, yo, Be Real TV, Bolton, no Espanol in 2024 <laughs> with the thumbs down. Yep. <laughs> yep, we didn't learn a thing. <laughs> The year kind of just started. Oh, the year kind of just started. You were supposed to have learned it by the year, not like learning it within the year. We're like 40% into the year. Yeah, you're already done. Your cycle is past. So you guys have no faith in me? Nope. No. Try, try one now. I want to hear it. I just said one, Espanol. Oh, my say, God. Say it. Give me an R. <laughs> <laughs> Give me an R. Give me a roll right now. And a big shout to C minus and Panda. They're rating us on Twitch right now. Oh, Salute yeah. C minus. C Meezy. C Mezzles. And we got Midget Mike. He's uh I told him to Midget put in Mike. a proper sentence, but he's just asking uh, yo B, your top five of B real records. That's what he's saying. Oh of what, my songs? Your top five of B real records. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Like, what I do you don't mean, know exactly probably what like that means. like like a solo on your solo yeah. stuff. Uh, man, I don't know. Um, you got a lot, man. I don't know. It's hard to say. Um, let me tell you some. Start a fire. Uh, what else? Um, mile high. Take your head off. Um, fuck. What else? Um, wax. wax. Wax out, what's it called? Dabs. Oh, uh, take one hit of this dab. Yeah, shatter. Shatter. No, 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 that's that's something else. Shatter, I think, is with uh, uh, yeah, burner. Burner. Yeah. I think it's just called dabs. I think it's called dabs. Yeah, and uh, let's see what else. Uh, on on the duck down album, I mean, fuck, there's a lot of them on there. It's hard to say. Uh, don't you dare laugh. That's good. I think that's five, right? Yeah. That yeah. is five. And we got uh, Aaron um, saying, shout out to the highest show in the world all the way from Levin, New Zealand. Much love and respect. But I do like Bad Day. Bad Day with Crazy Bone was actually dope. I, I wanted to do a video to Bad Day. What's it called? Uh, what's the one with the uh, tight dollar sign? That was good. It's not too oh. late, man. Oh, yeah. That's it is, it that's, isn't too late. That's one thing about videos. It's never too late it's, to do a video. It's never too late. Like, the song could be old. You're right. You do a video, boom, that song comes back to life. You ain't wrong on that. I think Pedro's thinking of Real G. Real yeah, G, yeah. There you go. And uh, let's see here. We got uh, Western Goods just shouting out the Beat Nuts, saying let's go. Big shout out to the Beat Nuts. Let's go. Beat Nuts. Do it. We got Hood Hippies telling the uh, chat, saying, yo, we need you guys to send in more pictures of your weed and rolls. Send them in, man. We need to get the ratings in there. That's what he's saying. 
Rate them up. Like to to uh, is to us. saying it to us? Yeah. No, saying it to uh the chat. Oh, the people. Uh. He wants to see more joint ratings. Oh, uh, yeah. People got to roll some more weed. Roll some roll joints. Away. We got Fernando asking, can you guys give tickets away to the Tahoe show? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like me less because that show you know i mean that's up there in north northern cali and, and it's right outside of tahoe so man they're hitting me up hard and i'm already like oh hell no <laughs> that's gonna be a dope show cypress is gonna be up there for that reggae fest up there that's gonna be a dope oh, wow one. yes indeed yeah lake tahoe that's cool. <laughs> yeah I wish we could give away some tickets, but if if it happens, you know that we get some extras that we can give away. We we will. It's gonna be a good one. August fourth, with Revolution. Oh, that's a, that that would be cool. Who got blurred out over there? Um, I don't know. This is what I just saw on the uh, ticket thing. Hmm. No longer appearing. I would check that out. Revolution's pretty dope. Shaggy and atmosphere. That's gonna be dope on Saturday. Get Chimba. That was a fun tour with Atmosphere a few yeah, years ago. Good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's Absolutely. a cool Absolutely. He's a cool cat, man. That Mr. Old Lava, Lava. Him and uh, Atmosphere going to get it down over there. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, and that seems to be it. Word up. Thank you very much for the interactions. Thank you very much for the submissions. Keep them coming to be real TV contest at gmail.com, and we'll put them on. All right. Stay tuned for the mix right after this. We said you love and positivity always. Pedro. Uh, yeah, big ups to everybody that's tuning in in the Twitch, uh, YouTube, and uh, Discord, and everywhere else. Uh, big ups to everybody here at the table. Uh, Trace for coming from Vegas. Uh, big ups to Steph Tone uh, practicing for the, what's it called? Um, Coachella. Coachella, yeah. And uh, yeah, uh, stay tuned for Mo. Let's go. Um, yeah, uh, shout out everybody on the chat hanging out with us. Shout out to the Dr. Green Thumb Squad. Um, Steph Tone, what up? You didn't make it today, but um, yeah, shout out Cali Blaze also. And word, if you on the IG, follow me, Psycho Less Official. And if you're trying to buy some merch, the psycholessshop.com. And you see this bottle, that means it's my birthday month. So we popping it off with the birthday party after this. Let's go. <laughs> Shout out to the Insane Asylum. Thank you guys so much. Shout out to everybody who put hashtag Be Real TV for the giveaway on Friday. Shout out to Ray Morning Shot Films. Shout out to The Dominator. And uh, happy birthday month to me and Psycho Less. Right. Shout out to you, Psycho Less, as well. Hell and yeah. uh, the Coca-Cola King. What's up? Oh, oh, this guy had to get his shot. Last little shot in. Okay. Oh, boy. All right, Colton, I'll see you in a minute. Big shout out to all the guys <laughs> sitting around the table. Everybody in the chat room, thank you for tuning in. Um, all the guys except Colton up in the in the booth uh, helping out, Aton and everybody out in the front office, OG the dog out there. See, I say what's up to everybody. Um, big Instagram shout out to all the folks out there that give me a follow on Instagram, at Trace Nunes. Please give me a follow. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Mr. Real? Love yourself and put no limitation on it. Swallow that. <laughs>